Trash to Cash yeah, Podcast, episode 130 something or other. How's it going? We, I'm Dave, the ADH guy. With me, as always, is Carrie, the Gen Z mullet guy. And then down below, the uh, greatest generation, Kevin, the Commonwealth picker, 1930, silent born yeah. and raised. Silent generation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the greatest so, and silent? Which no, one greatest is greatest? greatest is older, right? And then the silent. I thought I the know. greatest was oldest. Yeah, yeah. What's what the one years? that was into, like, what was the one that was into, like, the the jazz music and stuff. That was Kevin's. Kevin was like, yes. doing big band. Okay, music. greatest the generation slappers. is 1901 slappers. to 1927. <laughs> I, I sold something early. from 1908 this week. Uh, oh, you know what? Speaking of selling something, I just got a message. I just got a message before the show started that my Bonanza closet is not actually active, and that's why I'm not selling anything. Oh, it's called well, a Bonanza closet. I, banana. Oh, I typed banana. That sounds like oh, a place you. A Bonanza it's closet your, sounds like a place you drink whiskey until you pass what do they out. They call it on That's like a Bonanza. Closet. Your booth. They call it my a booth. booth. They said my oh, booth see, is that's... not properly activated. I don't know how to fix it, but that's why I'm not selling anything on. You Bonanza. have to send. I mean, strongly... other than the fact that no one's shopping on Bonanza, but that's. Wait a I'm minute. In a... You, you I have, have to send a hard answer. letter to them, and then it'll take Wait two to three weeks to get to them. And then they'll. I get sold something. Yeah. All right. Sold on ten twenty three twenty three. Oh, it's <laughs> Not late. Not yet shipped. <laughs> <laughs> ship it. Uh, so ship good. it for Dave. Ship it. Uh, yeah. Should I ship it now? They need Is it that... for Christmas. Last I mean... year. <laughs> Uh, I'm bad. I guarantee at you don't have it. Yeah, I'm not, no, you're not right bonanza now. material, is what it feels like. It's been like five days since my last bonanza sale, or four, or oh something like that. Do you have like a little work, workplace calendar closet. with the days of how long since mm. the bonanza sale? Booth settings. Oh well, I'll follow. I'll follow up on that. Maybe yeah. by next week, I'll have a bonanza sale, guys. Dave has one of those in his uh, garage, but it's like days since he's drinking, drinking, drinking urine, Drink, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking. Drink this is all urine. I do the Kevin Costner, and I like turn it into water. It's clear, like, so it's healthy. World. It's healthy. Yeah. I saw a little of pee across Florida on Death Pile's video. That oh, was nice. Yeah, the the one where they shot shot us down at the estate sale. Wouldn't let me buy stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch the whole thing. I cut to that part Dude, to see how it came across. It was all right. That's my next video. It'll be out tomorrow when y'all are watching this. I have the back out garage sale guy. The guy was yeah. selling stuff, and literally everything I picked up it was no longer for sale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he give me. I'm like, how much for these VHS? He's like, oh, a dollar. And I literally picked two VHS out, and he would not sell me either one. Which one? And ones started were they? looking them up. It was a. He started looking them up. Yeah, 1988 Platoon, and he's like, oh, check it out. It sells for $99. No, I'm like, false. no. Well, listen, it was a sold comp, but it was a Betamax. And this oh, was yeah. a good one, right? This was a this was a VHS that actually had some value, somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks, right? And for a buck, you know me, I'd pick it up. Yeah, and then for the he had a, he had a big, he had nine and a half, was it nine and a half weeks? And a half months, yeah. Dave. You probably watched that. It's yeah, kind of Dave, tragic. Yeah. It's a bit yeah, poor yeah, graphic. That, yeah. <laughs> that one it. was. It was a big box sealed. I don't think I know what it is. <laughs> and and there's none sealed on eBay. And used ones sell for five, ten bucks, right? So erotic it's probably romance. Googling it? Yeah, yeah erotic Googling romance it? from 1986. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. No. Yeah, I, I was not allowed to watch it when I click was on kid. the click on the video tab and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll, be back, I I'll be back. I'll be back. A brief intermission. <laughs> yeah. But that one had value, right? And I'm like, I've never seen a big box. Nine, there's no way, you know. And I didn't. I mean, and and so he's like, uh, yeah, I'm not selling that one either. And then he starts to like, this is worth 99. And then he takes oh, it inside. Gosh. And he had already taken. Did he two know who you were? Inside. No, oh no, he had no like, idea. Did you tip? I him had. Off by well, okay. Up? I had the opposite of that happen, but before we talk about reselling, I want to let you know I had a wake-up call at the basketball court tonight. My yeah. nephews wanted me to take them over to the, the park to play basketball, <laughs> and they wanted me you're to play with of, them. I'm like, all right, out of shape. dude, like <laughs> 10, I'm not even kidding, 10 seconds, Carrie, of playing basketball, and I was like, hands on knees, <sighs> Like, and I you might can have asthma. Bench, and you can out bench press me. Bench pressing is different than calisthenics, yeah. Kevin. I'm catching up on these secret episodes, and my name is being slandered and besmirched. <laughs> yeah. Like no, like yeah, this podcast does it pales it's in comparison to. We got it. We got to fill air time. We got to fill air time. What do you think? Do you like target. the Do you like the secret episodes, Kev? I tell you, the vomit one was too much. I couldn't. It was. I just didn't like the idea that I knew Dave was suffering. I just couldn't oh, watch it. So it was the sick. same. I was so but sick. 
I don't remember which one it was. I think it was three that was mm. really, or maybe it was the very first one. One of them was like, wow. I mean, I was laugh out loud a bunch of times. There you <laughs> go. Like, yeah. No, funny. listen, the, the vomit episode was just because I was trying to not get sick. And then during the episode, I got sick. So if you want to hear me like almost vomiting and then leaving the room and coming back and Carrie just talking to himself. For, I didn't never watch the Carrie talking to himself. Was that interesting? Yeah, was, well, no, because, no, really. wait a minute, Carrie, wait no. a minute. This is, I got to be bone to pick with you here. So okay. I actually, when you were vomiting, and you know this, Dave, because you were probably vomiting when you responded to me. Oh, yeah, I was me. messaging Kevin. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I was trying to be messages. a nice guy and say, hey, y'all, pay attention, graphic tees, people like to buy, experientially buy on whatnot, graphic tees. I told you I had a really good show. We did really well. No, and you, all you led with was the third. No, I think it was within the first five <laughs> letters or the first five words of the first sentence was the amount. I think it was the third uh, word was the amount you made. The only why. The Listen, Don, we, Don, we know why you sent about it. Money. Dave only cares about money. So if it started with the money part, he was going to pay attention. If not, he just passes over my messages. Trust me. Well, Dave totally doesn't really, me. I don't really care Dave, about money that much. Dave doesn't <laughs> actually understand how money works because he has, I think, a $250 chandelier. Have, he yeah. thinks he's going to get $2,000 for it. He doesn't really <laughs> well, okay, understand how on. reasonable right, we got to explain to these There's people. There's a lot going on. Now, it is not a $250 chandelier. I looked at those things. This thing is way more quality. It's totally. I, I think. I think you it's went honestly from a five hundred dollar chandelier. chandeliers in the morning to be. I think a it's, chandelier. This is what expert. Carrie's saying, though. I think it's honestly a five hundred dollar chandelier. It's Wait, from nineteen twenty. Can I give a little context crystal, here? Super heavy. No, no yeah. Can I give ever. some context? Because they have no idea what we're talking about. We're talking about our own text messages back and forth. So Dave, yes. who criticizes Dawn for bragging, and yes. apparently me too. It's very mean. Just gives, he just goes on this like thread <laughs> of bragging. It just kept oh, going no, on. Dude. There's like 40, 43 it. pictures in there. Dude, it's it like and this, so and this and this and this and this and this. David called me to brag. I called him back. He didn't even answer. You didn't want to brag <laughs> dude, that have much. Have you ever apparently. had like a weekend that's so good <sighs> sourcing yes. that you just can't shut your mouth about it? Like I've had my two mom, Kevin, my my every father. Weekend, I called does. everyone. I called everyone, <laughs> and they're like, "Dave, we don't care." And I'm like, "But it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand how good this weekend was. It was yeah, like my I, best weekend of the year. It was awesome. Yeah. It was I, so I had incredible." Two. My first two real week, and they were both Friday sales, and I'm, I was probably five grand worth of stuff at two yard sales. And then it just died, and then it's creeped back up a little bit, thank goodness. But when yeah. I saw your haul, Dave, I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, was I was drooling. I also, I didn't tell you, but I got a whole bunch of, like, swords. Like, mm -hmm. like real swords, swords or actual swords? They're swords. Okay, so they're swords. I see, but like I see a Mercari video coming where you're going to get banned. <laughs> banned for guess. listing swords, swords on Mercari. They're not knives. So I, swords are probably <laughs> They aren't knives. knives. That's true. Yeah, no, but these are actually sharp. But they're like themed off movies and stuff from the 90s. This guy Just call them, them letter catalogs. Okay. How, yeah. You get away with it. How many hours Giant have you spent opener. fake battling alone in the garage? Against I've been doing foes? a lot of LARPing. I've been doing a lot of LARPing. Dude, it's... That yeah. might have been a sign. I invited one all... foot flipper over and we were going to LARP together. But Dude, I want to LARP. Up. By the way, when what I'm in Florida, LARPing? if we don't he LARP, stood me I'm going to be upset. Hey. What, do I, am I supposed to know what LARPing Live is? action role he playing. He stood me up. It's I where you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, live action role playing. Live action okay. role playing. Okay, no, no, no. Cares. Okay. It is like we're not going to go into my finds because it's just too much. But yeah, can, no, all right, let's let's care. at least put a tie a knot on the two things mm -hmm. that were brought up. Number chandelier. one, Carrie talked about a chandelier. I got a chandelier, 30 bucks, and... It's probably, it's from 1920. The guy literally, it was his wife's mother's. She had it in her house when she built it in 1920. They took it down in like 1960. He's had it in a Tupperware ever since. His wife passed away. He's he had wants it in it the what? A Tupperware. You know, had like, it in not, not a Tupperware. Did you put a, in? Uh, a bin, a bin, a bin. Did you already okay. post it? Did you bin. already post He's it? He's had it in a bin. So I had to build it because it was all, everything was individually wrapped. All the crystals. It has these like big, old school like, hand sized, hand sized heavy crystals. You should have crystals. asked him for a picture of it. But did they have a picture of it? Doesn't matter. Then I built it. To... I oh built it already. Gosh, I built dude. it and I hung it up and it was fun. And it was like a little puzzle. But I built it and there's nothing like it that I can find online anywhere. Like there's a lot of like new, lower quality looking things. There is some old ones, but some people have these things listed for like two, three thousand dollars. I don't think it's worth that. But I told Carrie, since it's like one of a kind and like no one has it, I'm just gonna list it super high and then I'll drop the price every month until it gets to a selling point. Like I think it's realistically worth five hundred. I think that's like four to five hundred is probably realistic, but I put it at fourteen hundred. 
I and I'm just going to bring it down I over would time. List it, and every time you bring it down, I would delist it and use a different photo okay. at the beginning of it. I could do that. Yeah. Art. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dave. Art Nouveau. That's 1920. Mm. That's pretty yeah. Art Deco. Yeah. That's a good keyword for you. Art Nouveau. Oh, I should put that in my listing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Look so at I how mean... smart Carrie is. Look at Dude, that. This... That's the one thing I remember. No dewdroppers here. Not no dewdroppers. That was my era, too. Now, I will say, I was like, I was overly hyped about these swords, but like yeah. six of the nine I got aren't that good. But the, well, the three that are good. You paid 10 a piece, like, though. Yeah. And the three that I did get that were really good are 250, 180, and I think 200. And How they good both, were the bad all three ones, of them though? already have watchers. The bad ones were like 30 a piece, 30 I to 50. I would have bought all of them, Tim, because they're swords I did. and they're cool. I did, yeah, I did. 100 bucks for all of them. And it was, yeah. So those that's going to so be what like about an the, eight. What about the crappy auto. ones? The crappy ones, like I said, they're like 10 or 20 to 30 bucks a piece for the worst. Go trade ones. them. Go trade them. Go find a guy. Go to, yeah, go to like a. Uh, and trade them. Uh, go to a flea idea. market and trade them. To or a guy that's got knives. What do you call it? A pawn shop. Go to a pawn shop and. Like get 20 bucks and I channeled, off. Carrie, I channeled my inner Don. Hold okay. on. I'll show you. And I bought lamps. There we go. I bought I lamps with lamp. a brass base, lamps. heavy love brass those. base. And I don't really know for sure. Ooh, that kind of is electrocuting me when I touch it. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Wow, why does that hurt? <laughs> you that should be get sued is what it yeah, means. That, there you go. Somebody's huh. getting kicked off eBay for a different Interesting. Reason. Maybe I'll unplug that before bed. Yes. Maybe do I'll do it now. I have ADHD. I might forget. That was interesting. <laughs> He's gonna do it for real. He's gonna do it before this he forgets. The real deal. Yeah. That's so he found. He found. Right he there. channeled his inner Don and bought a death trap. He bought a lamp that doesn't work. Congratulations, Dave. Classic. Uh, how would you so, trip, so far? Gary? Oh man, it was good. Ooh. I went. I mean. Dude, this whole week was wild, but like I, I've been kind of sick the whole time, which has not been fun. But I, I bought a lot of cards and I, I kissed a lot of babies, shook a lot of hands. It was awesome. So you dropped out of the Dibdit raid train? I forgot, like, because I kept seeing that I was in it, and I don't think I ever joined it. Yeah, like, I don't think you did either. <laughs> he just put me in it, and then I kept forgetting to tell him. And then I realized it was. I was thinking like it's a week away, so maybe I could gather some yeah. stuff. But I hey, found out that's it was a tomorrow. good announcement. Media day tomorrow. As soon as you're Media done watching day. this podcast, go turn it on, or you know, turn it off now and go watch it because I'm on early. <laughs> I would have like okay, maybe so I... 15 minutes worth of stuff. Maybe 20 I could do. I got a few things. But Don't worry much. about it. It's all right. We got it. So I ended that listing. Um, I'm going to take that apart tomorrow and see if there's a wire touching the actual brass or something. Because that was literally like shocking me. When I was yeah. it. And now my yeah, hand that's... feels weird. So Sounds like a video. it was like a tens. Little... You know, like those tens machines where they like yeah. kind of. It felt like that on my hand when I was holding that, and I'm like, that doesn't seem good. So I'll put it yeah. So tomorrow. I mean, and so maybe I'll put on rubber light... shoes. The other podcasts don't electrocute themselves on air. No, that's so right. Profit it's got a super old project. cable. They can like, respectfully that's, that's suck it. Uh, anyways, what I was Although... gonna say about those lamps, I got two of them for like five bucks, and they list for a hundred bucks a piece. Oh, nice. And they've well, already not, got not if they electrocute. Not anymore. You. I took them down. Yeah, I took them down. I don't want anyone to get hurt. So <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna go I'll buy them right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I took them down. I don't want to hurt see, someone. But yeah, that's, that's see, that's the Dave finds I, I like. I like the Dave finds <laughs> that he's so proud of, and then he shows them off and electrocutes, electrocutes himself, himself. <laughs> and on air, and scary. then has to take them scary. down. I know, hey, dude. That would be scary, this, honestly. I'm it's gonna be a okay. good thumbnail. Get get turn Dave into an AI with his hair sticking up. Yeah, his hair straight up. Be good. I'm yeah, holding like three degrees. <sighs> hey, I got okay, some so, sales today, finally. Holy moly. What is, dude? I, I'm sorry. Everyone says eBay is great, but eBay has been really tough for me and my, my viewers lately. Carrie is like bragging he's selling nonstop dude. $1 sports cards. No, we're selling But for me, for me, it's been like, it finally hey. picked up Thursday night. <clears throat> Thursday night it picked up, but before that, I was still in this world of like nothing selling. Nothing selling at all. And I had people in my video saying, hey, I've been selling for 20 years on eBay, and this has been the worst two weeks I've ever had. Yeah. So I don't know what that's I, I don't about. think – I don't believe in any of that because I've had – we had so many sales when we were at the DI today There's that Don, to Don got it. worried to thinking that, like, something was going on that we were going to, like – we are getting too many sales. The question isn't <laughs> this weekend. This weekend and today it picked up, but yeah. I'm saying last week. Last week was, like, weirdly dead for yeah. me, and I, I, I don't know if it was just – yeah. yeah, and I'll tell you what, Dave. I had pretty much the same reaction. Normally, when I do that video, like if I have slow say, and look, you're gonna have slow. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's not all gonna be great, right? I mean, it happens to everybody. But 
normally when I have a video where I say, yeah, I had a real slow day, you know, like batch sales, nothing, and then batch sales, something like that. Normally I have the people come out and say, hey, my eBay's on fire right now. I have a few of those people and then a bunch of people who are struggling and they want to, you know, vent a little. And I had none of that. My eBay's on fire. And I'm sure people have eBay on fire. But I didn't see that yeah. this time. And my eBay finally is picked back up too, so. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's back people. now. We know the people who actually have eBay sales are not on social media at all. And they're only – they wake up at probably like 4 in the morning, maybe 3.30. They take a light run at 4. They're listing at 4 a.m. to probably 8 or 9 a.m. Straight listing, nonstop, no breaks. They, they wear diapers is what I'm assuming happens. <laughs> and then hey. from 9 to 12, they're shipping. And then they take just a quick five-minute lunch. And then they're back for another eight hours, and that's every day. That's the people who are succeeding, from what I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a podcast. Sense. It has three Ps in it. I can't ever remember, but they came out just saying, hey, you, you suck if you can't sell anything. And I'm like, oh, don't do this. You guys are never going to get I love that doing podcast. That. <laughs> because your <laughs> it was comment. A great podcast. Your comment was at the very top, kissing butt. I'm like, if. Because it said the butt. title. The title was like, we name drop everybody, uh, every reseller. So I'm like, I know Kevin's here. And, and obviously, I'm also there. So I'm just as bad. But Kevin, first there, comment, actually. just kissing butt, wanted to be on that <laughs> podcast. Butt, so what is this? What is? I don't know what podcast this is. The Profit Players it. Playbook Podcast with Josh Galt. Uh. Uh, Josh I thought they canceled. It. Yeah. I thought they no, canceled. Josh is that. back on it, right? Josh is back. They they Josh oh. left and they replaced him with the beard, and then That's Josh came confusing. back, and now it's a good podcast. I enjoy yeah. listening to that podcast. And Carrie, if you listen to the whole thing, that was a very good podcast. I was very impressed. I love. Yeah, it's cool. They had three people, and all three of them talked. So that was awesome. I like. Although that. Dave, that is cool. I will say this: mm. Josh tried to get on and be the host, and it was the most awful thing I've ever heard. It's the worst forty-five seconds of YouTube I've ever watched. So okay. it just goes the better to show. Host? And he's watched uh, John. Some John, stuff. by far, it's really good. John Cincinnati Picker. Yeah. No, John flipping said, yeah. easy. That's no John Cincinnati Picker. <laughs> <laughs> so it just it just goes to show that you got to have a good host or the things don't work, you know. We're well, dude. We're burying the lead, and people get mad, yeah. Carrie, if you take this too long. But the lead is you went and tried to spend like two grand at a card show. I what? did. Oh and yeah, so, I totally forgot. So about what this. happened? How did that go? I did spent twenty five hundred and three dollars. So that was pretty good. Twenty five hundred and three dollars. Right, okay. okay. How many cards did you get, dude? I got like two hundred or so. I mean, I bought like a three hundred dollar card. The problem is it's so much – and seriously, it's so much harder to do card flipping at higher volume, at higher levels because every, you can't find hidden gems as easily as I – where did so Kevin go? So you – what? who – oh, he said he had to – dude, I'm like, okay, so it's just you and me now. Let's yeah. get serious. I'm yeah. having some anxiety about that electric – shock am i gonna die did that damage my heart i don't think uh, anxiety so. bros anxiety oh, yeah. bros let's go no i I, yeah. I mean i'll be worrying about it all night now that i've just literally been electrocuted for like three minutes i don't think I don't you know, got like like, like i think like a me. real real electrocution like you would have it would have hurt does it hurt it did hurt yeah like well, but like hurt physically anymore, like exactly i don't think it it emotionally hurts. it doesn't it like a, hurts. like an afib or like the the fibrillator doesn't that just like yeah. make your heart like sing basically I think stronger it's... yeah it makes it stronger i don't think my cousin you. was telling me that but... you're no longer supposed to do mouth to mouth when doing cpr you're only supposed to do chest compressions he's a fireman he said you're only supposed to do chest compressions Why? and not mouth to mouth he said it's like, like not effective and that no he said it's like not effective i don't know if that's true guys don't don't like yeah, take let's my not word give for cpr it. You advice to give someone cpr because i don't yeah. feel like yeah i have this sneaking suspicion we're not qualified dave Allegedly. 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 But I got to take take a part of Lamp. I'm waiting for Rockstar that. Flipper to make a video about it. Then I'll make a decision. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kevin, you're back. Hey, welcome back, buddy. <clears throat> Carrie was back. saying it's hard. It, you're, you got to replug your headphones in. Carrie was saying that it's hard to flip high-end cards. So what is it's like your best harder. find, Carrie? Um, like, I mean, I found some amazing cards. I just have to pay up for them. Um, so, like, I mean, mm -hmm. I found CJ Stroud. Did you auto. try negotiating or you're yes, not even, I like, did. trying no, to No, I tried to oh, okay. I actually had to negotiate, which was probably the hardest part for me because every yeah. time I was, like, my whole thought was, like, get a couple cards and try to get something free or, like, take. So I was, I was mm. you know, or, or get a couple things and then add something and get a little bit off that. But yeah. it's hard, man. When, when you're dealing with, yeah. with sports cards, the reason why I have a lot of success in the bargain range is because most people don't want to deal with that stuff they don't care about a ten dollar yeah. card or 15 or 20 dollar mm -hmm. card mm -hmm. or they don't know that this obscure card yeah. is. Yeah. and you're not 20. at a garage sale you're if at a I, place where people know 
But I got like Ellie De La Cruz, PSA 10 cards, you know, Victor Wembanyama, so, PSA 10, like the stuff everybody knows about. So there's very little margins. You on did those. a show. You did a show right before we came to record yeah. the podcast. Was oh. was that inventory from the show? It was some a very little inventory. Like I bought a little bit for myself. Um, most and of how did you do there? Yeah, it was terrible today, which was very. It's always nice before like a big risk in a big show to to, <laughs> to just have one to hit you in the <laughs> to gut. be brought down not, a peg. Yeah, but like <laughs> the cool thing is like I'm fine because I buy plenty and and I'll make money on the content and eBay side of it. So I. And also a lot mm-hmm. of what I was putting through, it's just ebb and flow. I was putting through like a lot of cool 90s baseball, and I, I think I had like all the, the people who wanted brand new football that just came out. So it's just I didn't have the right crowd uh-huh. for it. Um, but yeah. the cool thing about this auction is it's like whatnot's going to push it. So we'll, I need to have some better cards so that I'll, ha- I'll have a little different group in there, and then we'll, we'll see if this will propel me into to card. Promote like, it. Promote card. it right here. When's the show? Yeah, the show is going to be 6-1, so June 1st. At uh, let me see what time. I think it's five p.m. But gonna have some it. good stuff. People might be able to get a deal. Wouldn't yeah, be good you for might you, be able but... to definitely so is, get a deal for you cheaper. You think Kerry than... backed out of a show? Did he back out of tomorrow's PST. media show? Seven p.m. Yeah, PST. Media. He wasn't really in it. Oh. Seven. All right, seven p.m. PST, June first. It's gonna be a couple I'll... hours, and there's yeah, like I could be like, there. Here, I could show you like some of the cool stuff. It's literally right here. Oh well, no, you don't. No, need okay. we don't really need that. No. I got a I got a pennant. Kind of broke my heart a little. I got a, I I got a pen ex- and genuinely excited. <laughs> show us, show us your best cup. No, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, good. All right. you, you guys, you'll be there if you care. If you care about me, I, no, oh, I, I got a. I'll be there. I know. I'm joking. I don't care about the cards, but I'll be there. <laughs> Carrie, I got an Orlando Magic uh, pennant signed by Chuck Daly. Who? Ooh, maybe Orlando Chuck Magic. Signs. Chuck yeah. Daly. Did he coach, yeah. the, he coached, the Magic? He coached. He coached after the Pistons. I think. Well, obviously, I think. yeah. That guy just strikes me as an alcoholic. I just look at him and I'm like, this dude is wow. drinking so Accusations. much. Accusations. Wow. I'm look, wow. Alleged. M- alleged. NBA, NBA Twitter's about to go wild. The Commonwealth <laughs> Picker thinks Chuck Daly was an alcoholic. No, I don't know that. I just you look at the guy. It's like Jim Leland, well, like chain smoking cigarettes. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to name another. I'm going to name another manager from another sport. You tell me if you think they're an alcoholic. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Tony La Russa. Tony La Russa. Tony La Russa. No. Mm-mm. All right. Oh, he uh, was. No. That was a trick he question. He was, in fact, an alcoholic. No, was he really? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah, I would have never guessed. Anybody who wears their rich watch Riley. like he did? Pat Riley. No, I don't think so. It's hard to function at that high level. I feel level. like Pat Actually, Riley like would have, allegedly, I feel like he would have done cocaine. Allegedly. Wow. That's what I feel wow. like. If he this is really something. off the rails. Holy this moly. Is, yeah, it's this a is getting deep worse. <laughs> it's a good short. It's a good short. Nobody will Oh, watch. my god. But yeah, I went with my nephews to the park, and they're like, I don't even know what they're saying. I, like they're not even speaking English anymore, man. They're like risen and skibbityin, and I'm just like I don't know what's happening. There's so many guys. skibbity toilets all around you. you don't even <laughs> what know is what to happening? Do. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely felt happens, out of touch. Dude. Okay, so it's, I've got an idea, Carrie. I'm gonna go camping. Don't show up. Like, oh, Carrie's, Carrie's like, oh, no, watching no. something. Sorry, He's watching us. Oh, uh, I'm trying to get okay. to the comments so I don't get yelled at. This we week. usually so, have to cut out what he's watching during the show, so this yeah, is nice. no, I'm please. Have to cut it out this time. A lot of saxophone Ooh. music. So a of, I was a lot of Kenny G, a lot of Kenny G, <laughs> Dave Ramsey, you know, saxophone Dave music Ramsey. at the beginning. Uh, no. So I'm going to go camping near a flea market so that I can like sleep. And, you know, the flea markets are kind of like two hours, right? They're kind of far. Mm-hmm. And so like this last week, I've been like fixing up my pop up. It's been sitting in my backyard untouched since I moved here. And so I had to put new tires on it, got a new battery, fixed a sink that I broke like a year and a half ago when I was in there cleaning and. You know, I fixed it all up, and tomorrow I get, like, the last little bits, and I'm going to get it registered, because it's not even registered yet. And I'm going to take it to the flea market, and I'm going to camp overnight with my whole family. At no the price. flea market. It's, like, 10 minutes from the flea market. Because, you know, me and Mike you're, Yeah, your kids must be so excited to go uh, yeah. camping at the flea market. Yeah, Mike camped at the flea market. That sounds even better. I, I, did. Listen, I was right there in the snuggle Oh, you were there? Was good. Kevin, you guys were it's, same... it's quality time with the kids. I think it's good. Get them away from their TVs, get them away from their devices, and go camping. And oh, yeah. I don't know, okay. like, you maybe like me Clark and Tina. You Griswold right now. It's not going to go well. <laughs> yeah. no. Andy so, Griffin. listen, I might even, like, let them sleep in, because my parents are going to be there, too, in their camper, so maybe they can sleep in. Me and Tina will go to the flea market or something, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It, I think it's going to be kind of a fun be experiment. be cheaper that way. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, yeah, well, that's true, because I don't have to buy them stuff. But I think it'll be kind of fun. I mean, so I wanted to say, the one thing that made Kevin, it's so funny, the thing that makes Kevin jealous about my sourcing is, like, one of my worst finds of the weekend. 
But that's like the thing that got him all excited. I roll up to this yard sale. It felt like a Kevin moment because it was oh. out in the middle of nowhere. There's like farm. The guy's got no shirt on. The you know, nips out. no shirt underneath. Yeah, nips yeah. out. Like, no nips, just, like, just nips out, ready to go. He's feeding the birds in his backyard when I go up. He's feeding the birds like with his mouth, just like I made it. I made a crucial mistake. I realized today when I was listing these, but I go up there and he's got like a little tote full of Motu Motu figures, and I'm Mm -hmm. like, "How much for these action figures?" He's like, "A dollar a piece." I got 25 figures for 25 bucks, Mm -hmm. and that was just like that's also where I got the chandelier. Got all types of great figures for those who don't know what Motu. Yeah, he meant masters. I also got a uh, a vintage Sears mohair. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer carry. The sold wow. comps on it are two hundred bucks. Wow. The only problem is he's missing his nose. So how much That's do I deduct? Slightly it's important Rudolph. part of Ru- Ru- Rudolph. I does, know it's a little might... piece of wood. It's a little red piece of wood, and that's all that's missing. But I we'll still make feel it. like there's value. Make one. Make I one. I can make one. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Glue it on there. Mm. Little red piece of wood. If I was gonna be lazy though, because I've done, J Rides yelled at me for discounting too much for flaws. He mm-hmm. says I discount too much for flaws. I was thinking discount at seventy bucks because got multiple two hundred dollars old comps. Sell it for. It is off putting like every morning at four thirty to just have an angry voicemail from J Ride. Yeah, every morning. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But you, most people could buy that and make one, like Kevin said. You know, so one you save it seventy bucks. Save seventy. You bucks. could, I mean, yeah. I feel like yeah. someone might do it. Could just know. go to the store and get one of those little puffy ball things and stick it on yeah. there. Get but that was there too. Ball. The crazy thing is though, when we got there, he's like, Oh, you should have seen it yesterday. People were going crazy. What did he have yesterday? That's mm-hmm. that's what I want to know. Like, what in the world did I miss if the Mo two figures are sitting there and the chandelier mm-hmm. is sitting there? At a there, dollar. But, yeah, at a dollar a piece. And and yeah. so the crucial mistake I made was once I bought the Mo two figures, <clears throat> I totally should have been, been Eric OBX picker, because we were alone, no one's here. And what like, else you got? Do you have anything house? else inside like this? Exactly, because mm-hmm. I actually even Here's... found cups, little vintage Burger King cups that are worth money. The Star Wars ones from 1977. Those oh, are yeah. actually, yeah. If you yeah. get the whole set of those, like a hundred dollar set, the four, and I have it. I actually would have had it twice, but someone did come and take two of them, so I only had like one and a half. But I probably got. I, I mean, I probably got. I think they were all. Um, Star Wars uh, and Return of the Jedi. So some were from 83 80, and some were from yeah. 77. <clears throat> and total Star Wars cups I listed were like, I don't know, $230. And I paid 50 cents a piece. <laughs> so that was like the kind of sale. Right it was What's pretty it? awesome. One cup, okay. $200? No, for the all the cups I got was like oh, 230 okay. bucks. Oh, I bought 20 oh cups. Gosh. I bought okay. 20 cups and it's about $230. Yeah. But they paid 50 cents a piece. So I paid 10 bucks. Nice. So it was... Uh, I mean, that sale was such a Kevin sale. It, it literally reminded me of you out in the middle of the farm. Mm-hmm. Like no one's been here and you're just yep. like, how am I finding this right now? <laughs> yep. I'm telling you, it's the, that's the way it's, to go. It's the way to go for me. You it can is. go to yard sales at 11 a.m. And they're stuck because there's just not enough good. We're, we're ruining thrifting and garage sales yeah. for everyone. Right. But there's not enough yeah. good pickers out there. And this yeah. was a freestyle. It wasn't advertised anywhere, which, you know, always helps. Yeah. Not advertised free balling anywhere. It, man. Yeah. yeah, but I will say I, I wanted to tell this story because I think this is interesting, and I think I told Carrie this on the phone, so he's gonna have to listen to it again. But I didn't tell Kevin. Pretend I, don't I haven't heard. So, <laughs> Friday, I'm with my. I might have even told Kevin. I don't remember. Uh, no, it was Rod, not Kevin. They look the same. What do I know? They're both super buff. So <laughs> Kevin's like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, no, so Friday, there. I see this ad, ad for a sale that looks insane. All the pictures are like Picker Paradise, right? Box of NES games, SNES, N64. Go the other way. Action figures. Fools That's gold. normally what Fools I do. Gold. Normally what I do is I go the other way. But I'm like, you know, my brother's coming with me for the first time in like a year it's and a, a half. Friday Let's take too. him to. It was a Friday. I said, let me take him to this. So I, it starts at 7, 7 a.m. It gets light here around 6.30, 6.15, 6.30, right? And so I'm like, I don't really want to be there in the dark. Like, I don't want to bring a flashlight. You don't get any footage out you of it. You should have been like, there. I just, yeah. Oh, well, probably, yeah. So I, I'm like, you know, let's stop and get a bagel. I'm trying to give him like an enjoyable morning too. I don't want to wake him up at 4 a.m., you know, because he That's wants to like come yard sailing with me. He's not a picker. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, all right, we're just going to leave at like 6 o'clock. We're going to go get a bagel. We're going to sit out, out at the bagel shop and have a coffee. And so we did that. And I said, I want to get there at 640. That was mm-hmm. my goal, 640. It's a 7 o'clock sale. It's still 20 mm-hmm. minutes early. I want to get there 20 minutes early when the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. And so I get there at 640. There's like seven pickers, hardcore pickers. Huge piles, like enormous uh, dude, piles. I mean, I mean, you should There's this know one this. guy. His, I did. I told my brother when we we're having the bagel. I said, "Then go somewhere else." Ton, 
that's what I told them. I said, listen, there's a ton of guys there right now filling their cars. Mm-hmm. And I said, my goal is to not get triggered. And if, if you need to, you need to help me not <laughs> get triggered. My goal is to not get triggered. I yeah. Love it. Because I know when I roll up, I said, I know when I roll up, they're going to be walking out with golf clubs. They're going to be walking out with action figures. They're going to be walking out with all the good stuff. But they're going to miss something. Yep. I told them this. I said, yep. they're going to miss something. Always. There's going to be something they're ignoring. I don't know what it is, mm-hmm. but I just feel it in my gut. Like, even if we get there at 640, we're going to do good. I roll up. They all know me. All the pickers. Dave, why are you so late? We've been here since five, bro. They're just loading their vehicles. It's all the local pickers who know me, and they're just loaded with stuff. They're like, you won't believe how full my car is. You don't believe what I got. The guy's got an arm load of golf clubs. Other guy's got a big tote of action figures, video mm-hmm. games, all this stuff, right? And I'm like, I'm not going to get triggered. I-, I knew this was what was going to happen. It's congratulations and looking. handshakes. That's what you should mm-hmm. do. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Thing. I said, nice. Mm-hmm. Good job, man. I said, I didn't want to come out that early. One guy said he got there at 5 a.m. And they let him pick it at 5 a.m., two hours early, right? And even the, he owners, filled his car up. even the owners recognized me. They were, mm. like, getting out of the picking game. Wow. Right? And they're just yeah, fire so they, selling it. They don't care. They just want wow. it gone. They, yeah, Why they do a lot of storage okay, units Just a little PSA. If you live anywhere near me and you want a fire sale <laughs> like that, just call me. Just call me. <laughs> Just yeah, seriously, guys. Yeah, call Rod and he'll him. give you my number. <laughs> you can find <laughs> him at Blimpies. So, call Rod Bedford. and Rod will give you my number. Between 1 so, and 3 p.m. So, okay, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to get triggered. I'm going to find something. And so I start walking and I see the glass table. Oh, the that's untouched where you glass found table. that. See, mm-hmm. people don't. Dude, that's yes. awesome, dude. Untouched. A lot of people don't want to deal with glass. I can't blame them. It's stressful yeah. to deal with glass. But a lot of people don't want to deal with glass. I go over there. Loaded. I'm like, that's Fenton. That's Fenton. That's Fenton. That's that's custard glass. That's yeah. uranium. I'm like, there's Murano, Murano, Murano. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, how much is the glass? She's like, buck a piece. I'm like, okay. Man, they really I said, I'm want need out. a box, ma'am. And so I got 20 pieces of Fenton and Murano wow. for 20 bucks. And just literally just today, I have sold two hundred dollars in Fenton mm-hmm. from that sale. So I paid twenty bucks. I've already sold two hundred bucks in two days of nice. fantasy stuff. And so, and then I go and there's an electronics table. I find like a microchip uh, soldering gun for like that sells for two fifty. It's five bucks. I start digging in the totes and I find all this other good stuff. Like I probably I, oh, and then the best part. I showed you this, Kevin. Is she rolls up? She's like, Dave, I'm so glad you came, but you're so late. You missed a bunch of the good stuff. She's mm-hmm. like, I got some for you. She goes in the house. <laughs> she brings out a freaking stack of single stitch fire t shirts. <sighs> Like oh a 3D emblem Harley from 93, yeah. a bunch of single stitch Harley, stuff like that from a Daytona. There's like this, uh, it was a Daytona, I think it's called Robinson Harley, which went out of business. Like they had a big celebration back in uh, 88 or something. 88. She had a bunch of their shirts. She had a bunch of their shirts. like Single you know, stitch. I, it was just single stitch. Yeah, yeah. They, a camel, single stitch camel, Dude. single stitch. All this stuff. Like these shirts are Your like 50 to 150 now. a piece. Oh. And she's like. I got all these for you, and I'm, I'm looking through them. They're like, insane. I'm like, oh, okay, so how much do you want for those? She's like, buck a piece. <laughs> buck a piece. Dude. I was like, what? Okay. And you <laughs> paid more, right? About you paid why more. wouldn't you no, pay paid, more? No, I paid what she asked. I paid why? what she asked. I don't understand what a the mindset move. with people. They just wanted to clear out. So so it was kind of a confusing Did they story. win the lottery? Sounded like, no, it, so it sounded like Here's it was tens of I, thousands I think they were brother and sister. Stuff. I think they're a brother sister, and the brother, the sister, I think does storage units, and the brother decided to try it, and he was telling me like this crazy story. He said, "I got into it. I did it for like a month. I made twelve grand, but then I decided I didn't want to do it yeah. anymore." I'm Who like, needs Why? twelve grand? If you make twelve grand, just keep <laughs> doing. It. But he's like, and and this stuff has been sitting in my container for eight months, and I don't even care. Just you know, I'm giving it away. He's like, I, I like wow. your videos. You can get deals, and she, I think, still is going to do storage units. And so she, I think, buys in such bulk that she just wants it gone. I know. I, I told her to message me. I've got her name on Facebook and stuff. So hopefully I can uh, work with them. Wow. A little bit more. That was just crazy. You know, it would have helped I was, if you paid them more for that. Then it would have been yeah, a lot easier. Yeah. Well, I did. I paid up for a couple things yeah. that weren't that good. Like I bought the big trash cans that I just wanted for my house. I gave him five a piece, and he probably would have taken two a piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so <laughs> like generous. brand new, brand new tra- <laughs> closing trash cans. Uh, uh, so. But but this is the thing, and I think this is like this is the key to like an amazing day. Is that was the start of Friday, and then the Motu figures were the start of Saturday. Mm-hmm. So you just start off both days just like 
insanely good mm-hmm. and then the whole weekend became well, yeah. awesome it's kind of weird how that cool works because like you could even sometimes have a decent yard sale at the end of a day when you're out yard selling and your day still sucks in your mind because of the struggle <laughs> you know the first yeah. couple hours of a yeah day. the grind it's, weird. it's yeah mm-hmm. like it'll change your perspective big i love the mindset though i think that's really really key because i went i had the opposite thing this weekend it was rainy Right. And they're like, I'm like looking at my dad, like there's nothing on Friday. There's one, there's Saturday. It's going to rain. So everything's getting shut down. And so I'm looking for church sales and we found two church sales. One wasn't on Facebook anywhere. And so I'm like, all right, we're going to go to this one out here. Cause the other one was closer to the Lynchburg folks. And there was nothing in Lynchburg Harley. There's a little bit. And there's a sale at a church, 8 AM. It says it on the sign of the church. It's all listed. We go there. And there's nobody there in the parking lot. There's like five people waiting for the sale to start. There was no sellers anywhere. They canceled that <laughs> sale, left oh, the classic. sign up out there, left it the, on the whole billboard of the church. Everybody's sitting there waiting for sellers. And one seller comes up and they're like, I didn't know it was canceled. <laughs> one seller. And it was Jeez. 40 minutes away from the other church sale. So at that point, I was there half an hour. I mean, it was probably 40 minutes early for that church sale. I was 15 minutes late for the other church sale, and I knew when I get there, Dave. Same thing. I'm like, people That's are going to be you, man. walking I've out of here with stuff. Many a, I've told you both this like many a Saturday morning. If you guys aren't first, you're last. I keep telling Dude. you that you you learned your lesson on that. Honestly, if I had gotten to that sale first, them knowing me too. If you were there at five, I probably could have. You wouldn't have. Yeah, fitted I in probably could have. Yep. Yeah. I think it would have been insane, but it would have been totally insane, but, but that's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. I still did great. There's something else. I still had a great come up. I had a lot of fun and a lot of other people got good stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. We're all happy. You're I'm not, just happy to be here. Like I'm just happy feel, to be here in Florida picking capital of the world. I, I tell you, I, <laughs> Dude, I, Florida's amazing. You, I was jealous looking at it. I was like, oh, this is hurting so my good. soul because I'm out here picking on Saturday so and I'm like, after the church sale, I went to a few others, and it's just rainy. It's just whatever. And I picked a few things here and there, and I came home with maybe two hundred and fifty dollars profit after being out for four hours. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh, this but that is happened, that happened to me two weeks ago. That happened to we. The rain can really screw it up because mm-hmm. like you, you're not sure if they're gonna have it, and then they start it and they cancel it. So nope. like, but I will say them canceling it did great for my channel because I roll up to this yard sale and I say, hey. <laughs> And she's like, oh, go away. We're not ready yet. Uh, the rain has screwed us up. Thumbnail. And so I titled my video, like, go away and the thumbnail. And it was, like, literally just that. That was, like, the whole entire mm-hmm. story. But I got a ton of views. <laughs> go away. <sighs> so I did. I try to put, like, the whole, like, I try to spoil it right before my even intro starts. Like, right at the beginning. If you clicked it just for that, you'll know. Nothing really happened. Mm-hmm. You so like that to, way, I'm you not, like, to, you like to ethically time. clickbait. Like you, you bring them yeah. in, but, but no, then you let my them daughter, down. my daughter goes, Dad. You know what my problem with your videos is? I always want to see like what's going on in the thumbnail and like what happens, but it's like at the end, and I can never find it. <laughs> and I was like, Well, like, yeah, you're supposed to watch the whole thing. She's like, but it's boring, Dad. I don't want to watch the whole. And every thing. time Did you, you skip, about... you watch an ad. <laughs> Did you hear about the YouTube <laughs> updates? The AI. Um, that they're no. doing. So basically, they're working on this, and this is going to be a something they'll offer to like YouTube Premium here shortly. I forgot what it's called, but it's like AI will tell you what part of the video, like it allow it allow you to skip to where they're seeing people watch more. So it will mm-hmm. actually prompt you in in videos to like skip ahead. Interesting. Boy, they're gonna have a hard parts. time. In and my also videos. do summaries of your whole video. They're gonna be doing summaries. That's of brutal. Your whole video. You can already do that just by going over to Bard or Gemini. Well, yeah, or but it's Chat gonna GPT. do that. You've done it before on YouTube, though. Yeah. So that makes like, sense. It makes sense. Logical yeah. next step. Yeah. Well, I used to do four. They're sales. gonna be like an elderly man is pretending he has something to talk about. That's oh, Kevin's exactly. summary. Elderly <laughs> man. <laughs> Mm. Elderly man, geriatric fellow yeah, who geriatria. swings frequently and has Cialis. lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with rage. Oh, jeez. Man, oh my Yeah, God. no. So my, my weekend hey, was nice. Oh, Kevin. hold on, How, dude. Hey, hey, it's I me again. It hey. Oh, well. Hey. Okay, so here's a question. Yeah. Here's a question. What do you do? Okay, so you see a sale, an estate sale, something like that, and the estate sale is one hour away, and you were... It looks very good, kind of like this picker yard sale. It looks very good. It looks like you could do well there. Do you do the hour drive to go to the sale because you're confident that you can make a profit, or do you not waste the hour there and back? Well, it just depends on what's what's between you and an hour away. 
Mm-hmm. For me, an hour drive. No, there's nothing. It's on a Thursday. For me, oh. it was on a Thursday. So there's nothing else. That's the only thing you're going to find. And you're in Florida, too. Day. You have plenty of stuff to pick yeah. around you. Yeah. Do you I need stuff go. to sell? Are you low on inventory? Do you need a video, Dave? Um, yeah. I think there's a lot. For me, yeah. For me, because there's so very few all around here, a lot of times. I mean, sometimes it's great. Don't get me wrong. But I drove on a Friday. We don't have Thursday seals. So we don't see that. But... I drove on a Friday. Mm-hmm. I drove 45, 50 minutes a, about a month and a half ago. I was running low on inventory. Okay. I did it, yeah. And it and paid off. Do? Well, that one wasn't great. But the one that I saw, once I was there, I was only 15 minutes from another one, kind of kitty corner from where I'm at. And mm-hmm. that one I just crushed it at. So, yeah, that okay. two sales, one day, well, well worth it. Well, well worth it. I think, I think okay, so I've had this, like, this method for so long of, like, scatter shot. On Fridays and Saturday or Saturdays at least, just hit everything. Mm-hmm. Hit everything without yeah. actually putting any like stock in the quality, mm-hmm. like how the sale looks. Yeah. And that's been okay, but Tina is more like strategic. Like she'll be a, she'll say, Dave, we need to go to this sale. And I'll be like, But I wasn't even gonna go sourcing today. She's like, Yeah, but it looks good. And I never really think that way. Oh yeah. But I found that you probably should Especially on the if days it looks where good. that aren't Saturdays where people work. Yeah. It makes a huge yeah. difference. I mean, I I'm yeah. telling you right now, the bang for my buck on the Friday sales this year has been insane compared to Saturdays. Mm-hmm. It's not even close. There's not as many of them. No. There's not as many but of But that's what I'm sales. saying, bang yeah. for my buck. I mean, there's hardly any around here. I might be, I'm lucky to find one or two Friday sales around here. Yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah, so what happened is Thursday, I see, or Wednesday night, I see there's an estate sale an hour away. It's all tools. It's all tools. My brother is like, you know, he's a tradesman, he's a pipe fitter, kind of like Don used to be. Yep. And so he's he's got a tool collection. He watches videos about tools, people are reviewing tools. I'm like, this would just be fun for him. So that was honestly my motivating factor of, hey, let's go tomorrow. We had nothing going on. He and I wake up early. A lot of the kids don't wake up till like 10 or 11. And we had some plans that afternoon to go to St. Augustine, you know, and get the popcorn carry. Uh, we got to talk <laughs> about spot. the popcorn, too, because they're doing some freaking garbage with the pricing now. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But, but so we had plans in the afternoon, but we had nothing to do in the morning. And so I was like, why don't we go hit this estate sale an hour away? I go out there an hour away, and it is insane. All the Leroy, Leon, Leroy, 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 Leroy. Leroy's are there. Yeah, the Leroy's. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> what's, what's that's my brother's. That's my brother's dog's name is Leon. So I'm a little confused, <laughs> but yeah, and he's here. Leon? Leroy's are there. There's like seven Leroy's here. She named it after Resident Evil 4's main character, Leon. Some of you will get that. It's a great game. Uh, but yeah, so there's like eight guys, seven, eight guys that are like tool pros, and they've got. I can see their bags, and it's so funny because I kept accidentally taking stuff out of their bags because you know they didn't really look like bags that. <laughs> They look everything was in bags right. even the stuff that was for mm-hmm. sale so i couldn't tell so like i'd be like holy crap there's a, a bunch of star star it tools and i start grabbing the guys like that's mine i'm like oh sorry 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 and i go to another guy he's got a uh, a leatherman which leathermans are good guys bolo alert. I'm so and i sorry. grab the leatherman he's like he's like get that out, get out of my bag i'm like oh sorry i didn't know it was your bag he's like well when you see a bag full of good stuff obviously it's a bag I'm like well that was really the only good thing in there i literally said that to myself that was, wow. that was like really the only good thing in there spicy so, day <laughs> that's funny so uh, you know it would have been nice to get that leatherman but so I, i'm sitting there and i'm picking and it's filthy we're getting you know like american picker style just you know dusty gold oh, rusty yeah. gold whatever they say i go buy it all and i'm like i'm in my car looking at all the stuff i got i'm like man i think i got like 150 in profit chat that's not really worth it we need to go back i don't want to drive an hour mm-hmm. and an hour back for 150 yeah. bucks like i wasn't cool with it so i said we're going back in he's like all right i gotta pee i said we'll just go pee on the side of my car and i'll go <laughs> <laughs> so he did that that was a whole nother thing mm-hmm. he's like really i was like oh, no one's out here <laughs> and so i go out i go back in and i spend another 25 minutes looking and that's when i pull out one thing that sells for 450 bucks just for that one thing. Mm-hmm. It's so funny though because I listed it for 450. It's the only one listed. I turn on a promo and I said only things that are have been unlisted for like 20 or more days mm-hmm. or whatever and it turned a promo on everything. So it accidentally discounted 15%, but I sold it for $382 the next day. Not complaining about that. $382 for that one item. And at that that second trip that I went back in, I pulled I think <clears throat> four other tools so by going back i turned my 150 into like 700 profit from that sale seven to eight hundred and so just just by going back in and so it makes you wonder like how many times would going back in benefit you yeah oh (laughs) because you get so rushed you want to get to the next sale and you leave behind a bunch of see that's my world whatever so that's why i dig it's because there's not that many other sales to go to so i'm just gonna dig and (laughs) 
I'll tell you what, it hurts me when I go on these highway sales. When I go on these highway sales sometimes, because everybody's just flying mm-hmm. in front of me. Yeah. And they get those big. And so I got to adjust two the way styles, I know styles, though. But ultimately, if you have a hot yard sale that's got a lot of potential, it probably behooves you to, to spend that extra time. But, but yeah. But your style should be dictated by either what you typically buy or where yeah. you pick. Yeah. Yeah, if you have well, a lot what's going less, on. Like, like I had, Steve? there's no other Thursday sales, so I could be there as long as I wanted. Yeah. All I knew is there I had to be go. home by there noon, and I still had two hours, so I'm like, I'm going to go and if keep finding If it's a community profit. sale, you might want to keep mm-hmm. moving, you know, if you're actually. Yes, yeah. Which in Vegas is usually wasn't one with me, sale, it seems, and they just say it's a yeah. community. But, but here's the <laughs> yeah, thing, though, that. you know, it is a community sale, but, you know, you get all these people and they jump, because that was the A1A with us, and we the, the people were jumping in front of each other. And you could tell. I mean, you'd see somebody and they're behind you and you leave a sale and 10 minutes later there <laughs> you see them driving past you. Yeah. And man, we did good by we jumped a little bit, but not much. And it, how much does jumping help? I mean, look, there's people all up and down highway yeah, sales not, every not direction. It's not like you're getting you're not getting in front of everybody. Just pick. Yeah. Uh, the the if my brother know. hadn't been there, I would have gone in for a third round probably, but I he was getting kind of bored. Sounds uh, like honestly. Sounds so, like yeah. me at like Golden Corral, you know? There's yeah. always yeah. one more round, <laughs> always one more time. That's right. Because you got to maximize the thirteen dollars you spend. Mm. But yeah, no, oh, I have a ton of Patreon questions and stuff too. Ooh. We should probably pull up. Oh, okay. Well, let me get a comment then because I didn't do it last time. So, Kathleen the Fenway Flipper says, "Glitter is the herpes of the mm. craft world. You never really get rid of it." Oh, speaking of herpes, uh, <laughs> yeah. Carrie and me, wait, no, no, not herpes. Speaking of glitter, glitter, I went to a mm-hmm. yard sale and there's this lady selling stuff and she's like talking to this other lady saying, yeah, it's Urban Decay. It's a great brand. She's showing her something. And I hear Urban Decay and my like, you know, my, my haunches go up. Is that what they say? I know Urban Decay because Tina always tells me if I find Urban Decay, I have to buy it. That's like her one rule. Like if you find Urban Decay, you buy it at a yard sale. And this is a makeup. One this is a makeup, guys. This is a makeup <laughs> brand. Write rule. that to your bolo list. Unless you live in Florida, <laughs> ignore that I just said that. But if you don't live in Florida, Urban. If you live in Florida, <laughs> and so, load up on Avon uh, bottles, the shoe yeah, ones. Yes, the ones Avon that look like telephone. <laughs> They're the <laughs> best. Uh, expired Mary Kay's, excellent. No, so so I hear Urban Decay, and then of course I start lurking to see if the person's gonna buy it, right? Because it's the seller trying to pitch it to this little old lady. And I'm hearing her, and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's like uh, Urban Decay. And the lady's like, they said something else. I didn't really hear him. And the lady's like, oh, I don't want that then. And she walks away. I'm like, sweet, I'll take it. Like, I just jump in. I'll take it. It's five <laughs> bucks for an Urban Decay thing. And uh <laughs> turns out that both the ladies look at me kind of funny. They're like, oh, your wife's going to have fun with that. And it's it's body powder, edible body powder. <laughs> Ooh, wow. old ladies are like, and Tina wants you to get no, this. No, it's normally Tina's it's like, normally makeup, it. foundation, <laughs> and eyeliner and stuff like oh, that. But okay. apparently, they did a line of like edible body. Is powder. it like? <laughs> is that like for like the people on like it's, the strange addiction? No, like, no, this is like a love making tool. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you put it on your body yeah, and, and lick so it off. And so it's my Thai nice. flavor too, by the way. So I, but I get it home, and Tina's right. It's a hundred fifty dollar little thing a body powder mm. it's like less than but an you ounce saved it for yourself no, yeah well i've already used it all <laughs> sorry it's gone though it would have been a great bow yeah and dogs aren't allergic to it <laughs> oh my god oh man Dude. It's, it's more expensive than chocolate though so you got to be careful peanut butter <laughs> Kevin, you just you just got triggered. Kevin, he's gonna go choke out a dog yeah. or something. No, but no, yeah. So Tina was right. One hundred fifty dollars paid five for it. I can't say that. Paid five Allegedly. for it. And I, I asked the lady. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but like, and I'm not trying to profile, but there's a certain person that looks like they're gonna have Lululemon. It's just a very specific yeah. like person. You're like they probably have Lululemon, yeah. and so yeah. I go to her. I'm like, yeah. you got any Lululemon? She's like, actually, I do have a piece. She doesn't have a ton in my closet, but I'm not selling it right now. I'm like, yeah, I knew it. Mm. And she did sell me her one piece of Lululemon <laughs> for like two bucks. They probably also are like she like, took it off. No, she wasn't wearing. She wasn't wearing any Lululemon at all. You can just kind of tell the kind of person that's gonna wear Lululemon, and and I just I nailed if it. If you ever want to know the person who wears Lululemon, watch the video with me. Yes, Mark. that I would have that's guessed she wears Lululemon when I saw that video. Lululemon. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> I, I don't really I know if it. I'm going to sell it. I've just never gotten it at a yard sale, and I wanted to, like, you know, get that Lululemon at a yard sale feeling ever since you did that video with art, and it went viral. Yeah, I killed it. One, one Josh Galt says, I agree 100% with you He guys. watches our it's show. It's amazing. This, 
the smart yeah. kids agreeing with the the, the, the class clowns over here. Well, you yeah. two. He says, I agree 100% with you guys that the crazy inconsistency on eBay is pushing sellers towards dibbed it. Mm. Oh, well, he didn't yes. say the dibbed it. He probably but, said yeah. whatnot. You know, but. I did. Me. That was I, I. I read that and did I you, did. You two were the ones whining about eBay. I don't. You, I think eBay. You fun. should really watch that video. These guys who would be the guys that would oppose like live reselling all that stuff. All of them like said, "Hey, there is a value," and I think I know why because the, their whole new thing is you know you don't want to put that low end, low sell through rate crap in your store. It hurts the rest of your items. That's kind of the mm. feel. You know, make a different store, okay. a second store, niche it's down, whatever. Like. Since and so they're embracing that idea. Interesting. It's almost it like the like... same same advice that's always been the advice of eBay. It's never changed. Uh, but put good stuff up at the right price, you're going to sell it. Period. Mm. Yeah. That's always been yeah. the advice. When has it ever changed? Well, you put well, something up that people want right now and you price it right, it's going to sell every time. I don't know that is. eBay's ever given that advice, like specifically. If What's that makes the, any sense, and there was a time, boy, you could sell just about anything. Well, yeah, but Carrie, yeah, nowadays, maybe. nowadays though, if you do that, and ten other people do it on the same day, but they all promote, you don't get the sale. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not true. I don't think that's the case. Uh, if you're, if you're, if, if you're all the bottom, I've the always same. been the lowest. Yeah, but they can price. The they can price. list it five seconds after you, a little bit cheaper, and promote. I, I don't. I don't think there's that many people Dude, doing that auto like, sell through. Like, like the Amazon. No, thing. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The item yeah, could also be found by I do best some offer other too, though, and I'll I move stuff, man. Listen, if, it's, if it's the low, I'll take twenty percent off immediately if somebody offers it to me. Almost rate always, is still very important. I mean, if you don't pay attention to sell through rate and you keep buying, you're going to have eight thousand things in your store that, and, and eventually it catches up with you. Listen, uh, there was some science Check, done on I our have stores, and 8. the science three thousand things in my store. The so science is different. The science proved that I have the fastest sell through rate of the three of us. Science was done by mm -hmm. one foot flipper. Oh no doubt. Yep. Oh, well, yep. of course, yep, 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 it's yep. scientific. It's scientific. If he does it, Paige does it. It's science. <laughs> Wolfman Goody said over on Patreon, who is the supervisor of the podcast? Actually, he said stupor. Sup he said supervisor. What is a supervisor? Stupor. Well, that'd be if you. It's supervisor. This question like, is super. Stupor, that could be me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Are there any supervisor good snacks? Feel, Are there any good- I feel good... like Kevin's the supervisor. Kevin's like the CEO. Yeah. Dave, you're like middle management, and mm -hmm. I'm like the guy that's just barely doing enough to keep his job You're the job guy barely. who were mad minimum wage went up because we don't want to pay it to you. We're like, dang exactly. it, we got to pay him I'm fifteen an hour like, now. Oh wait, man, <laughs> which ties he's really into not the worth it, but he's thing. a good time, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. that guy. I had, like, he's a good I time. had one of those senior moments. I'm driving. Shocking. We're going to Turner's baseball game, yeah, and okay. you know, I'm like, we're driving all the way down. You got to pay when you get in. You got to do whatever. And we go to Bojangles for breakfast. Bo time. Me, me, Turner, and my wife. It was thirty bucks. Yeah. Thirty bucks okay. for breakfast What'd you at Bojangles. Get? Am I the only one who's this I, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit meal? Bo rounds, yeah. upsize. That seems about yeah. the good for th three people. Thirty honestly. bucks. That's the way it's a bacon no, biscuit. No, see, carry the problem is bacon the and a problem that Kevin's having as someone who lived in North Carolina for a long time is three years ago the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit combo was three ninety nine at Bojangles. Dude. So you'd oh, be out for twelve bucks. Geez. You'd be out for Dude, twelve did you, bucks. There was like an infographic I was looking at like a couple months ago, and it was McDonald's, like how much everything's went up. And it's not just Gosh. like the last 20 years. It's like the last four years. Yeah. That, like, everything is Well, with like, McDonald's, double. okay, life hack, guys, life hack time. The reason McDonald's raised its prices is to make you get their stupid app. Because literally every yeah, time yeah. you go to McDonald's, there's a 20% off my order little button you push and you just tell them your code and your order is 20% cheaper. And if you don't the do that, there's like $2 that, breakfast sandwich. Then you have to you know. like, but if you ever it's show annoying. your phone to somebody and they see that you have the McDonald's app, I have then you it. have to have like an intervention. I can't there's afford a lot McDonald's of without that app. Along with that. You need that app if you want to afford McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. You got to get that app on uh, okay. your phone. You okay, still Space Man. Gosh, get you Upside it. app. You need to click on my link. Yeah. I, Make me like yeah. 12 cents every time you fill up. I don't upside, Kevin. I just don't exactly. want to see it. Exactly. He said, check out my upside pointed <laughs> look, directly look at, at his my upside, Commonwealth guys. Pecker, and we're Ooh. supposed to not mention it. <clears throat> Anti Zero said, can, say Kevin, that anymore? can Kevin tell his minions over at Bonanza to send some more sales my way? Mm, I have no minions at Bonanza. Uh, running for the king, are there any good go to snacks you keep in your backpack or fanny pack while sourcing? Hmm, that's I don't a good eat question. while I'm out unless I buy like a cookie from a kid. I find that if I eat. Yeah. A lot of times, I'm like a little more sluggish. 
I will find that. But if I don't eat, this is a catch twenty two. Dave, if I, I've been with listen, you. You eat the whole time. You do around. eat. You find oh, a way to that's eat. That's not true. That's not true. Non-stop. Listen, especially when I'm fasting, I don't eat. Uh, but if I don't eat by ten a.m., I can only think of food, and I become terrible at sourcing. <laughs> I think Carrie, you said you stopped for like breakfast a few hours yeah. into sourcing too. Like, but I, then yeah, after I, I eating, go to Starbucks. And after get eating, small, so. I become useless. So, like, because my brain just shuts off because it's, like, processing the food. So, so you basically, 6 to 10 is your only useful hours of doing this. And then you're yeah. done. Either well, way. and so it's, like, it's tough. Really, I uh, I feel like the best I do is if I have, like, a little something to eat, like a protein shake and, you know, some string cheese before I go picking. And then I plan on having mm. a nice meal at, like, 1. I, Mine's I kinda... the bathroom break. It's, like, every, it's, like, 9.30. And it's, like, I got to go to the stinking bathroom. And I can't. I got to miss the next day. I got to drive yeah. somewhere. because of all the alcohol you're drinking right? yeah. when you're yard selling. Well, it's, well, it's also the like... inflamed prostate. But, listen, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. That's a medical issue. It's private. And, you know, <laughs> we're not going to go into We that. will blur. We will. We will. <sighs> Dude, we will my dad has prostate sure issues. State, my dad's but... prostate issues stress me out because I know I'm going to have them. You know, it's a family. It's a hereditary yeah, thing. Yeah, you had it checked out. You're good. I have yeah, lunch. Yeah, no, my I check it every day, but I'm just saying. Thoroughly investigated. I'm just saying, I'm concerned uh, about when I become 65, 66 like him. Like, I don't want to be peeing every five decay. minutes. Decay. Yeah, I don't want to be peeing ADH every five decay. minutes. There we go. Cheryl Shiny Squirrel says, my hubby Steve has been watching MTV's ridiculousness, and now all I see is Rob Deerdick when I watch Kevin. Oh, you look yeah. like a lame. Oh, like you look like a lame, sickly Rob Deerdick with like out <laughs> any of the motivational skills or talent. But like I see it though. Mm, that's good. What hey, brand Dave, of makeup put... is Kevin wearing in Saturday's thumbnail? Is that Katy Perry yes. or Avon? Are you wearing yes. makeup? Yes. Hold on, I need to look yeah. at this thumbnail. Saturday's thumbnail. Is that the one where he's dressed uh, up like, like a clown? I don't know. Mm, well, did I you use the video on Picker AI or Flipper? Stuff. Saturday would be Picker. Oh, uh, Saturday be picker. Let's see. Come on, have you been using that thing that uh, Hustle Home Mom yeah. uses? That that like pretty oh, fast. She sh- it's, she yeah. showed me some yeah, app exactly that like makes her using. pretty. It starts with an R. Yeah. she's already a, a pretty person. I'm no, not saying she's not, but it makes you more pretty. Now. It's built into Canva. Now. Wow, Kevin, you're so. Is this Commonwealth yeah. Flipper or Picker? Hey, they took away my like like. Can uh, we show it on the screen? I don't even see it. I don't even see it. Saturday is what? Uh, two I don't days even ago? know. I want to know myself now. It's not. Oh yeah, no. Know. It's to stop selling our stuff. It's it's aggressive. Oh my gosh. What? Oh what are you no. Talking about dude. dude I don't look even at see the stop it. selling our about? stuff. That's okay, that's he looks he looks like a weird stop like kind of Corey Feldman stuff. a little bit. What are you in that talking one? about? Dude, you're not There's even in any of your Commonwealth Picker thumbnails for the last three three uh, weeks. No, no, it's Flipper, dude. It's Flipper. It's Flipper. Oh, it's Saturday. Flipper. Flipper. No, the one that says stop selling looks like aggressively different to me. Stop selling. Oh, that's stop two days selling ago. our stuff. Like two days ago would be Saturday. Days. That would be it. No, no, no. Yeah, it's that one. That, that is on today, Monday. It looks scary. Yeah, it's Monday, so that would be Saturday. And it says no, slu- he has a slush puppy shirt on, like a child. He I'm wants so to know confused. what kind of makeup you're wearing in yeah, this that thumbnail. one. He looks right like here. Corey Feldman what in that. What is today? Today's Tuesday. Today's okay. Monday, so Kevin. Saturdays. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Monday, Second buddy. cease and desist. Yeah, you do. You do. You're missing some yeah, wrinkles. Looks, you're missing some wrinkles that yeah. I'm used to seeing. You're like, those don't just go away, is. Kevin. Was that the day you put in the dye? What is that? Kevin, the <laughs> look look how much darker it is. Kevin, yeah, you can really, get Botox. It's contrast. Yeah. Yeah, it's I don't need Botox. Look at this guy. Look at this. This one he's got it, too. He looks like a baby face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. Kevin's like, he definitely... Look at that. He's oh almost my doing gosh. like the Kevin. He's almost he's like he's mid duck face. He's about stop to be duck face. Kevin, that one. stop using it. Stop it. Yeah. Stop no. It. No, no, no. It's not on today. Dude, you the look like where are your eyebrows? They're missing. Where did your eyebrows go? They're not go? missing. There's what no are you eyebrows. Are you that. shaving your eyebrows? Little... <laughs> Dude, he's trying look to how many views? That one he looks like he's trying to entice the older ladies, the one up above. That one looks like he's like being like, hey. Look at that. 27,000 views on a flipper video. It's because of the thumbnail. It's because you make it's just great content, ridiculous Kevin. Too. It's because of your great I, content, not because of your well, face. Your face is doing nothing well, for you. You can take your face out. You'll get more views. <laughs> you just Speaking need a face, generic put my emoji face in there. <laughs> the and one, one with word. your wife. That's how you do it, Kevin. really, really well, right? I put yeah. my wife in one, and it's a number two well, the, just immediately. Yeah. My wife and Aunt Yeye were in that one, and that's the one where yeah. I said, like, go away. It was very, like, clickbaity as the first like hardcore mm-hmm. clickbait i've done in months actually like i really have yeah. not been out leaning respect, into the clickbait out of respect to your viewers that's how you should be i care i care yeah, i'm a I, kind yeah. of person who cares so 
<laughs> I'm like Kevin. I don't clickbait ever. Okay, so here's the question oh, over you guys never answered. Do you bring snacks? Uh, oh, my mom does. My mom always carry. You've probably seen this. She comes with her lunch box full of little snacky snacks and she's got like <laughs> cheese and crackers and beef jerky and all this stuff it. and she's always just like that's after every sh- sale. Smart. Dave, that's... Dave, you want beef jerky? I'm like, "No, mom, I ate breakfast." She's like, "Here, let me get you some <laughs> cheese and crackers." She's like making me cheese and crackers and stuff while I'm like driving. No, I, this is what happens. This, this weekend like I mayonnaise. gave in. I'm like, "Yeah, just give me the cheese and crackers. I'm just eating them." Like, whatever. <laughs> They're good. It's, I don't care. Here's my garage sales for me. It's usually like 9.45. I'm soaking wet. Just got out of the shower. I'm in a bad <laughs> you mood. You need to learn to tell Dawn's off. mad at me because she wanted to leave at 6, and it's 9.45. <laughs> Dawn didn't, didn't. It's 10.15. Dawn's hungry because she had a coffee, and she didn't get any food with it. I got food, and she didn't. Why doesn't she go without got, you? She does sometimes. She's yeah. been going to like – she went to Savers without me this morning, but I got up pretty early today for me. And then I went to the <laughs> DI, and it was a terror – like it was nothing at the DI today. It was one of those days. So Yeah. yeah. Mm. Carrie has a couple gotcha. of tiers on Patreon. So does Kevin. When will there be a Dave-themed tier? I would submit the $5 tier to be renamed Delightful as a Dave. Oh, that's cute. Aww, Why don't like we just that. make an ADH Dave ch- and just change it randomly every month? Yeah, every month yeah, the, the name true. of it changes. Yeah. I like that. Just yeah. random. Not ideas. the name of it. The price of it changes every month. I want to like eventually make an all AI generated channel where like the content, like the story is generated by AI, the words are generated by AI, the voice is generated by AI, and the visuals. We're not there yet. I hate those videos. We're not there yet. Them. Yeah, but I. But that's okay. How is that? Nobody's no. I don't think it's gonna work, man. People Someone want do. real people. Even Kevin, they'll even <sighs> accept that they want a real person. <laughs> That, that, like, I think it will. Them. I think on certain, on certain top- topics. Look, I, certain, it won't be like, in the very, picking. Very, it won't be in the picking world. Yeah, it it's like how to fix your computer. Or it absolutely, maybe something could be like in the that. picking world. The it top ten be. videos that are out there, you could have an AI generate a top ten most valuable VHS thing. It'd be wrong because they're probably reading <laughs> stupid articles. Here but are the top ten VHS them. at yard sales. But it would still work Winnie on YouTube the because people would be like, "This is stupid," and they comment the like, "This too. is so dumb." Secret of poo. <laughs> okay, quirky picker but, Chad said, "What was your lowest eBay sale this week?" Ooh, lowest eBay is lowest asking. I win. Asking I definitely lowest. win. I can guarantee you. Lowest. That. The whole week. Carry fine. Let's do non card. Non card. Non card. Non card. Non card. Last week. Lowest. Uh, we don't really do a lot of low you can stuff filter to that. Cards. You go to a week and then you go top to bottom. Yeah. Let's see here. Sales. Let me see if I can do this. Kevin's over there explaining right. how my he's lowest. Do it. So shut up. That's the lowest. Eighteen ninety five. Eighteen. What is that really the lowest? That, one? No, you sold some ET pins. To no, some that's suckers. totally not why. Yeah. That's a lady. You, you did. You did find a sucker to buy those that ET pins. That is totally not right. Do you know what's how funny, this... Kevin? At the sale what? where they knew me. They had an ET pin, and I had to be like, they, I bet they bought this from Kevin. I bought this. I bet this was a Kevin pin, and I'm now buying it. Is there any way I can know if you sold it? I told you, the sale where they recognized me and watched my videos, they had yeah. an ET pin. in the oh, like, yeah. Just like you I'm sell not... them. Oh, really? I'm like, I wow, bet they so bought they this from did. Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I sold did. a, I sold a $5 either. Monster Jam plus shipping. So this was my brilliant move. I left the Octonauts, uh, which Dave made a ton of money on. <laughs> I shipped home the Monster Jams that have made me a whopping ten dollars minus the fifty bucks to ship them home. Um, so, yeah, it's so true. Yeah, he comes hey, here. I he buys. I, was ex- I like Monster those, Jams. Dave. I'm sorry. They're I told fun. you to sell those. You did sell them on Divda, and you did better. I guarantee than taking them things home. You sold the Monster Jam ones on I sold Divda, a few didn't of them. you? Yeah, a few. I, I, you but then them he took them home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, ten dollars. Yeah, I sold them somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I made I a profit because I'm such a good picker, but I could have made more. For ten dollars, a Scooby Doo keychain. My I don't really know how to sort by the list. And then fourteen ninety five. So go to okay. It says total, and there's an up oh, arrow total or sales. down arrow. I yeah. see. Yeah, oh, yeah, last yeah. seven days. Oh, you can do that. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Fourteen ninety five for another keychain. It says highest price, but doesn't say lowest price. Well, oh, mine's wait a minute. including it's not shipping. Order. Mine's including shipping though. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it totally does. Wait, so, mine's eight. Oh, right. Though. Mine's eight dollars. Oh no, mine's seven dollars. And Yankees t shirt for sixteen. I don't know. Jetsons uh, cassette tape sixteen twenty nine. Yeah. Mine's There's a some low ones mine's a there. cutting board that Elijah listed for ten bucks. I usually don't list stuff that low, but he listed it for ten bucks and it sold. And I kinda would have just kept it if I knew he was gonna sell it for ten bucks because it's cool. I could use it for the AI I'm so kitchen. Glad, I'm so glad we came up with this idea to do the worst sale of the week. That is my, true. That my, was our idea. Didn't have anything to do with hey, this is it. 
What's that? My, my highest sale is only in the last week is uh, is 100 uh, total. It's 171.79, and mm-hmm. it's lately it's been, you know, even on slow days you sell something really big. So that was my biggest mine sale is that, of the week. Mine That's is that 380 dollar car engine boring dude this is the weirdest thing i bought by the way that at that tool sale it's literally like a big engine boring tool i didn't even know what it was but i'm like i'm gonna look it up and that's the one that sold for 382 so that, that was my best one my my high dollar sales are down maybe that's why maybe i shouldn't be whining maybe i should i'm the sales numbers aren't we sold like a- i sold 34 things between you know friday or thursday night and sunday you know that's not bad it's just the high dollar stuff in there hmm Maybe it was just only Maybe like I need the to viewers find buying stuff, and it wasn't. Like <clears> viewers <throat> have been down for me. Yeah. My I second best sure. thing last week was a sixty dollars PS3. <laughs> sixty dollars PS3 last week, and then I sold McDonald's. Second buddies. lowest. Yeah, second sold, highest. Second I got to tell you this story. We sold uh, the vintage second Pillsbury highest. Doughboy oh. Danbury Mint calendar set that we got at the thrift store like a week. Oh, ago is that the ago? one where he's like all erotically laying down and poking yeah, his belly? Yeah, there's the erotic Pillsbury Doughboy. And then he's got statues. like the Pillsbury Doughboy nipple yeah. touching. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's September. That's, that's my it. month. So we got it home, and it was six bucks. So it was a great deal at the DI, and it had a few little broken, tiny issues. And Don put that in the listing. And then we sold it for 80 and she's like, I lost like $25 because I had it at 105 but I took an $80 offer because it was good enough. I only paid 6 But this, listen, to this is what Dawn says, and, and Dawn's a wonderful person, but this is very Dawn. She's like, but I charged him $35 for shipping. <laughs> and it's not going to cost me $35 to ship it. <laughs> it's going to cost her like 12 That's No, it's heavy. It actually might be 35 because it's huge. I think she might uh, be right. Yeah, maybe. That. But it was funny. Maybe. Depends on where it was going. funny because she was like, Size matters. silver lining. Don says that all the time. The handling the costs a bit on this one, as it should, because that one's not going to be fun to ship. I'm sure as heck not doing it. My, like, one of my big sales this week was like 89 plus shipping, and it was something my wife picked up at a sale. Really? So, yeah. Well, 1908. that doesn't surprise me that much, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did good. She killed it, and, and the people love her. She's mean to me, and they love it. It's like this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, I actually sold a monster jam a monster jam monster truck thingy this week for eighteen dollars. So I don't know some why of, you're doing so bad of, with yours. Well, you gotta understand monster jams, do you know like the nuance of monster jams? Different no. color wheels, different different paints and stuff. <laughs> There's also do you know like the uh, littlest pet shops? Do you know all yes. the uh, all the uh, nuance with those? Like no. the different types of eyes I just buy and everything. stuff. <laughs> no, but those, if you, you can get individual get Littlest lucky. Pet Shops worth like 70, 80 bucks a pop. Really? You want to look those, yeah, you want to look through them thoroughly. Huh. But every I just one sell of them is one of them. Bucks. Wow. Yeah, I've sold, I've sold individual ones for like 30, 40 bucks because they had like. You the, have? Yeah, you I have them? like tier. Yeah, no, I picked them. That was back in the day oh. when I actually picked a lot better. Um, now I'm mostly <laughs> just into doing card shows. But, I yeah. wonder when I'm going to burn out like that. That's gonna happen eventually. Dude, I got, I, I got, I've been <laughs> burnt out for like it's years. It's not gonna happen. But I'm not. Like I still do it. But like I've been struggling through burnout on regular picking for a while. I just, I can't imagine. I get like, my, I get nervous if I know. It's Dude. like if I decide on an off week to sleep in because it's like, do I really want to do all this for two or three sales? Like I would have last week. You know, I seriously thought about not going out, and I just could not not go out. I had well, and to. that's the thing. Like you, when you find stuff, like what what happened to me this week, I was buzzing for like two days. Mm-hmm. I was on adrenaline. Like, and don't you, you still get that the carry? Next sale. I still do get the adrenaline when I have a really good day. But there okay. was a good eight nine years because I've done this thirteen years. Probably the first nine years where every weekend and I believe it or not I was getting up at 6 six thirty to go to the swap meets I was doing all that stuff and believe I was it so can I excited. choose that or not no I really was I really was I was so excited <laughs> I for it right. I don't know what it was I just kind of maybe I just started focusing on cards more I don't know but like I my interest kind of slightly shifted and I still struggle with it but I I do get high like that that amazing <sighs> feeling when I find a good yard sale yeah Without a doubt, I got my inner if I get that human yard sale I would feel amazing that yeah, would, that that would awesome. make my whole yeah. day. That was it just awesome. doesn't happen yeah. as much as it. I got I my like inner it. arbitrage and I killed it on TikTok for me. Nice. I know, dude. You did this really week. well. Yeah. I've on been enjoying going video to the react, DI lately, remix. so that that's been fun for me for sure. But yeah, the the um, the TikToks, man, when they hit, they're they're exhilarating. Uh, yeah. I gained more up. subs in a weekend than I gained in like the last two years. Really? really? How many did followers, you go not subs. Followers, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like four thousand, three thousand, something wow. like that. That's For me, that's 
I'm pretty you, good. You were so you were so pumped up that you made like a I was a garage, you made a thrift store TikTok. Yeah, and that bomb. with your family. Yeah, <laughs> you were you were getting it. you were, yeah no you were saucy in it too. You were like <laughs> nobody's she's going to college. My son's not going to be silly and go to college. You were you were like really trying to trigger people. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. So when you go when you go sourcing afterwards, do you feel like incredibly exhausted? Like just. I feel so, like I'm like running on adrenaline at yard sales, and by the time I'm done, I just like I, I push through it. But I'm like so tired I could even take a nap, and I'm not a napper. I don't do it, but I always feel like after yard sales, like I could just go crash on my couch. My for a routine hours. is to get home, and to most time I unload my truck, but sometimes I don't. And the dogs come out, and I pet the dogs, and I immediately go sit in that chair underneath the tree. And I just do nothing for like two hours. I mean, I'm I'm listing or I'm doing an editing and video. But to me, that's doing nothing under a tree, right? Mm. I just love it. That I got to have that time just to... You almost need to decompress. But I never like, go back just, to sleep. It is. It, you, you really do need that. What I always have, this happens to me, especially on a good day. Like, I immediately come home afterwards. We go eat or something. I get home, and I feel overwhelmed is typically how I feel because I'm like, mm. what the crap? stuff. I got a ton of editing to do from the videos. I've got to list everything. And a lot of times, like, I think it would be good to have a routine of, like, two hours just to, That's why to I chill stopped out or something. doing seven videos a week. I do five. And mm-hmm. That's I, what I do. You just can't. You just yeah. can't do seven. I mean, some people do, but, man, how in the world they do that? I, I just – and I did that for two and a half years. Two years. Yeah. seven days a week every day every day a video came well, out. I, i've know, been like, i uh, didn't really do any listing while my brother was here and i didn't do any editing and so now i'm starting to feel that real like crunch of and i did a lot of sourcing right i went thursday mm-hmm. friday and saturday and i did great every day like fill my van levels except for thursday i didn't fill my van but like i have so much crap to list i listed like all day today and i didn't even i didn't even crack the surface and of the it. sales like, are gonna come yeah. in man yeah, yeah that's no, what I mean, happens I've, i sold i've already been selling i sold a I like uh, a wedgewood so, for 150 bucks today 150 dollar piece wood for yeah. 150 it must have been a oh teapot. wow that's, yeah. wow yeah Whew. i never mm-hmm. find wedgewood for 150 mine's like 1250 that's normal wedgewood yeah but this is a blue yeah. too carrie it's powder blue which is like normally it's it better just, colors mm-hmm. but it was, was just the beginning. item it was the teapot yeah. yep exactly mm-hmm. i got that at the browns too for 10 bucks I like I to look Maybe when you're looking at your sales. Like I, my favorite days is when you get like, you know, 13, 14 sales and yet you're always going to have those new sales. But I like to have those that are like 90 days old and then yes. sprinkle in a couple from two years ago. Oh, Love yeah. those days. The problem yeah, is which... with the two years ago is like, where the heck is that item? That's what happens, to <laughs> me, especially with cards, because like Donald tell me like, what it is. I'll go find it. Yeah, and I have them organized, but like after a couple years, like we could tell by the pictures where the pictures were taken that I was yeah. like in St. George or in Utah still. The minute that <laughs> Leroy, happens, it's like have, I hope we have it. I hope. Have you ever there. heard of Leroy's system blood sweat cell? He takes yeah. pictures with a different color mat, and so he knows where it is by the mat color. I might have it wrong, but by the color of the mat or something like that. I'm like, wow, so he has like idea, his inventory honestly. color coded. And he goes to the yeah. blue section if it's a blue item. And Something like that. I, I think I have it a little off. But it mm. is, it's is—it's got an interesting little twist to it. Because I do that, too. It's like if I took the pictures in here, if I took them out there, or some of them in the eBay cave, for goodness sake. We've been doing Angel, in- Angel asked over on Patreon, Carrie, a question for you. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say? Oh. No, th- let's do the question. It wasn't important. Uh, she said, what is Carrie's reasoning behind moving to Florida? Is it solely to be near Dave? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I mean, no, it isn't. No, I mean, honestly, it'll Dude. be awesome. I, I have, like all my friends are out in the East Coast, like my really like the people I love hanging out with you guys. But beyond that, I was just thinking you were saying like we were talking about how I felt burnout uh, going to garage sales and everything. When I was in Florida, dude, and going to flea markets, I felt like I was in my <laughs> element. I mean, I wasn't 100 mm-hmm. percent where I was before, but like I felt like if, if I was in that area with the amount of flea markets you have, especially Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and with Don, too. Five, I mean, my, five, six days a week. My partner, like, Don, yeah. is, is is into it or more into it than me. And the fact yeah. that I can also almost every time I go out get card content as well. At yep. the, at the it's no market, surprise that tech and sports could be the number one in like 17 different categories Seriously. for 20 years in Florida. Florida yeah. is yeah. insane. They, there's a lot of talk about Utah and the DI is magical. When it's hot, it's hot. But like Florida is special. And we even like, I mean... There was card shops. There was some decent thrift stores. I didn't go dig deep for thrift stores, but we found a couple I thought that were solid. 
They were yeah. they're better than the Goodwills here in Vegas, which are terrible. Um, yeah. So I love it, man. I think I could really get into the picking out there, and the weather is similar. And, and there's you know, a few. All I think the sales mom in the summer. A few mom what? Oh, well, I was going to get off on a different topic. So well, I'm, I was I'm just going to say the other thing that Carrie didn't mention. Yeah. Carrie didn't mention about his move is if he wakes up and there's like nothing in Vegas, it's a huge project to go somewhere else. He lives in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So mm-hmm. here it's like, oh, there's nothing in this town, but there is in this I hear town, Kingman or this is town, good. Or this town or this town. There's so yeah, many I mean, I towns. I can get to and Kingman, but that's like an hour, hour and a half. Most I think, but... most people across the U.S. have many towns around them, and they can say, oh, there's that nothing is... in, uh, you know, Daytona Beach, but I can go an hour up to Jacksonville. There's a ton of sales. Yeah. Sales. There's Deland. There's a ton of sales. Lake but Mary, also, there's a ton like, of sales. in there's between so many that spots hour. There's towns like we were driving yes. by stuff. Mm-hmm. You're like, that's a mm-hmm. flea market. I don't go to it. I'm like, yeah. we don't even like. We have two. We have Boulder City, which is small, and then there's the the um, Broad Acres, which is huge. But it's yeah. more like a it's hangout lame. place. Yeah. Than it's it like is. the Daytona Beach one. It's it's yeah. Just it's just not. It's like a lot of stuff that you buy for your household yeah. and stuff. It's not a ton of picker stuff, which is the kind of like. And I have that Webster decision right here because I'm like 25 minutes that way or 35 minutes that way, and you got you Roanoke, go up to Roanoke, and, Roanoke yeah. and there's all, there's stuff in between, and the Danville. stuff in between. Is the stuff. Matter of fact, we went to a, a sale I was telling you about two weeks ago, me and my dad, and we were hitting it up early. We were there super early, did really good for like 45 minutes, and then there was just a massive amount of people. And I knew if we left right then, we would hit four or five sales on the way back towards town, and there was nobody at them because they're out in the middle of nowhere, and everybody went right there to all those sales. And literally, not one person. We were at sales where there's 40 people in somebody's lawn. And, you know, but there's sales everywhere. There's also or we like, just wanted to hit the other ones. And I hit the other ones and did good. There's like a different demographic here in Vegas. Very, Vegas is very like transient. Yeah. There's a lot of younger, mm-hmm. I feel like younger families. And if you, in general, like there's a lot of home goods stuff at the yard sales. Uh, and tech. Of, you, you should be able to find a lot of tech. There is tech too, yeah. And yeah, I've had a couple a cool like Which old Which Carrie doesn't like. Yeah, I'm not as into it. I should be. But like there's also been a couple cool older families that had some cool Vegas stuff like from yeah, mm-hmm. casino stuff. Mm-hmm. That that's been cool, but like in Florida, it just feels like, or in Virginia, it's like when we went, uh, when we drove up and met uh, Kevin in Georgia. Like the first place we were like at a barn when you were we, we met mm-hmm. you there, and it was just like some dude who was like I don't know six hundred <laughs> years old, and like everything was like it was the where exactly Dave what I want a yard sale machine. or a flea market to be. As much as I hate dirty stuff because I'm OCD, like that was what you want. You want the dirty stuff yeah. that's been and in Dung, that barn Dung for was fifty fine years. Stuff. Yeah, Don was having yeah. a ball. She doesn't care. Well, like... and you're right, though. I didn't even think about that. But on Saturday, there was nothing local that I hadn't already hit on Friday. And so I had to kind of stretch my boundary. And I, I look at Deland, which is like an 55 minutes from me. It's kind of far. But there's like seven community sales over there. But on the way to the community sales, literally, I was on my way to the first community sale. I didn't get to it till 1030. Because of all the random stuff I hit <laughs> on the way there. Mm-hmm. And that's where I got the Mo2 figures and all this other mm-hmm. stuff. Just on the way there, I ended up spending almost my whole day. By the time I got the community sale, it was dead. There was nothing there because I was so yeah. late to it. But I was like, whatever. I already did so good. It doesn't even mm-hmm. matter at this point. I mean, ve- but, yeah. Go ahead. Vegas I was is huge. Say, so there's a lot of opportunity at times. But if it's it's just yeah, people yeah, a lot of pickers. Too. There is a lot you of pickers. You have a lot of content too. creator pickers there, too, yeah, which is interesting. Yeah. Like, Art's out there, like, the night before buying everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Art's, like, super competitive. And I'm, like, the opposite is, of competitive. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude, go go there at 4 in the morning. I'm not going to be there. I don't care. <laughs> Here, here's what I ran into that was an issue. And I, I'm going to see if you guys can guess why I didn't stick around too long. But I went to an estate sale. And this estate sale it had a library in the house. It was a very small house, Ooh. but he had dedicated like three rooms of his house to books. And not Ooh. only like, it's not just books all on the wall. The, all the walls were shelves. And then he had aisles of shelves in the middle. Like just wow. load every square inch covered with books. Probably thousands and thousands of books. All of them about <sighs> ancient Maya, uh, Cuban history. Like it's all I love South like America very, stuff. Like very, particular very specific. Niche, yeah. And I'm like sitting there and I'm like, I Dude, love there's this. gotta like, be stuff. I said, I said, there has to be that a lot of it in different languages. I said, there's probably thousands and thousands of dollars to be found here, but the lighting was terrible mm-hmm. <laughs> and the content is boring. Yeah. And I Turn don't really camera like off. books. Dude. I don't really, but there was a lot of other sales. Can I you imagine if Mel was at that sale. 
Dude, she, I, she I, was, I was like, honestly, I was wishing Katie. I knew a local reseller who was big into books because I would have texted All them and up. said, listen, you got to come here. I you're going to find thousands of dollars. I love that. But I don't, if you're local too. to me and you're a book guy, please reach out to Rod so he can tell me. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff, too, because you can go and get in the weeds and check everything with the scanner. And a lot of that stuff's going to be obscure. And not None have of these had barcodes. Not it barcodes. doesn't matter barcodes. if they're cheap enough. It, you just can go by like if they're not they worth were... anything individually. If, if they're not worth anything individually, you just get three ones on ancient maya if and you put it was... together three on 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 cuba and you put them in a lot and you make these 20 dollar lots basically and you could do that forever they but were was one dollar it... one dollar per book or five for three dollars oh yeah, my i would have bought i would have bought dude. probably a hundred dollars worth dude. Just, I just to didn't, try it out. i the stuff i looked up you know i looked up like 20 mm. and they were worth like eight to ten bucks yeah. and i'm like oh, those are like probably so much good stuff me. hiding in here like but i think carrie's right about this if they're the same topic you could it's all bundle. about the topic it was so with those. cool yeah it was so i went cool. to an estate in utah it was one of my my buddy who did the bought the estates out and he yeah, speaking of books. books and media dibbed it tomorrow all day yeah dibbed it all day guys which is today because it's tuesday yeah today um, yeah. So, but like this, this estate sale he went to was all like World War II, but it was very specific. Like they, he had sections that were on the, uh, you know, like the the African theater, you know, the European theater, like different segments. And I'm like, okay, I could do three books on this, three books on Patton, three books on whoever you know this military leader was, and then Patton could make money that way. Yeah. Well, I even told my mom as we're walking out, and I think I, my camera was still on. I'll leave this in the footage if it was, but I said, honestly, mom, it hurts to leave that sale. Like I <laughs> want to sit there. Let's turn off my camera and just spend five hours just digging because maybe I feel like I can find. Sometimes. Just enjoy maybe yourself. Maybe I should, man. yeah. Just, maybe like, I should have some fun with it. Everything. That guy that I told you was the back out guy. Remember, he just like picked it up yeah. and he's like, "Yeah, that's." Not, he literally that. took it out of my hands and take it, take it back. You know. You but I decided because I swung I like back it. through this little community to sail out by the lake, and it was a Friday, and I came back and I turned my camera off, put my backpack away, put my jacket on. So I'd look different and took so my glasses off. you could hide stuff? No. I wanted to go to that <laughs> sale to see if he acted the same way, see if it was the camera, see if it was whatever. And he was exactly the same. He had no idea who it was, who I was. And he, like, I had already been there. He was trying to sell me this stupid platoon thing for $100. I mean, just ridiculous. And yeah. he, and some lady had pulled out all this stuff and he gave her a price. And then when she went to buy it, he pulled three things from her. And mm -hmm. she's like, what? And she left. I'm like, what, yeah. what is wrong with you? I like people? how hey, you adapted, though. Plug. You adapted and tried something different, and you failed both times. And I did. I adapted. ended up getting uh, – I, I ended up buying something from his neighbor, which was good, but yeah. not from him. I was like, dude, I was done. I, I had like a death pile picker moment. It, it's the principle of the thing, right? And I'm not – like that i don't care you're if you're a jerk whatever and i can get a 200 dollars item right there for 10 bucks i'm buying mm -hmm. it right i don't i don't care i mean unless yeah. you're i mean if you're insulting me or something my wife is there or something that's a different story but this guy ticked me off so bad i was like dude because it wasn't just me it was everybody i'm like what yeah. in the world but that reminds I wonder, me of something yeah i wonder if they're if i can like reach out to those estate sale people and see if they're like done and if they want to just sell it all to me Dude, all it's worth talking to those kind of people a lot because you yeah, surprised. Did it. Like once you have, yeah, Maybe. there's probably people they already work with. But books, I think, are Which particular. Is probably the better person because um, I'm not gonna sell them. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I don't think I'd do that if I were you, Dave. It just would bog you down. So much yeah, you know, books yeah. would be opportunity cost. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so somebody asked a issue, question yeah. in the Trash to Cash Facebook group. They said they're a picker, they're a reseller. But they're overwhelmed or something, and they're like, "I'm having a massive yard sale. Would it be okay if I price the stuff? It's what do they say, sixty percent of eBay value? Did yeah. you see that on Facebook? No. And people are like, "No, no. not going to do it. Not thirty. Gonna. I told them no. You got to do thirty. So here's what I told them. Case. Here's what I told. Yeah. yeah, I think so. But here's what I told them. I said, if you want to start out at forty percent. 40% and accept people's off, you know, if somebody makes a reasonable offer. Because if I see something at 40% of eBay value, I'm not walking away. I'm trying to get it at 20% or max 30%. And I said, you might get a, a good I mix of those. I got values, but yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, and I said, you could start at 40 <laughs> The problem with getting Bonanza values is you just it. have to ask a guy and hope they remember because there's no way to track it. <laughs> dude, you should do that at yours. Have you looked that up on Bonanza? I don't funny. know if it was on the Trash to Cash group as well or if it was on the Bolo Buddies group, but I saw a message uh, this week of someone saying that FedEx 
went back and charged them for something they shipped because You're the just dimensions were this wrong. Now? Oh my gosh. No, Dave, no, no. This they is charged them fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Come on. They literally charged their eBay account fourteen hundred. What are they shipping? A boat? They said it was just a dimension difference of like ten inches or something. It was a decent dimension difference, but it was fourteen hundred dollar difference. Ten inches is a lot. I don't know I don't know. Yeah, they didn't go into I couldn't I was trying to find it before the show so I could actually see if they had commented on what the item was and I didn't I couldn't remember which group it was in. But it was some ridiculous number like that. Like what do you I'm never gonna ship FedEx again. I don't I'm ship not FedEx. willing to take that risk. I'm I see FedEx risk. cheaper, I don't know, 5 6%. Well, around here it's not. But I don't want to do it because I don't want to go to the stupid Dollar General. And those employees there are like, well, I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, dude, yeah. I don't trust this. I'm taking yeah. it to my shop and doing you. I don't care if it's a buck fifty more. I don't care. But, you know. Yeah, I'm not I willing to FedEx. take that risk of getting charged $1,400. I mean, I need some context, guys. Give us your stories in the comments. Has FedEx went back and charged you an outlandish amount for something? If so, how much? I feel like if it's over, like... 50 or something there should be some and sort did of you protocol. get it changed like they should contact you and exp- and then like it doesn't f- feel like they can just oh, do send that. me the yeah. item back please yeah. don't <laughs> charge me for, send and me charge the item me back. twice <laughs> yeah do not send, send it, it i'm not willing to pay 1400 dollars to ship the uh 12 dollar large yeah, plush exactly <laughs> if i got if i got a 1400 dollar Char- I'd be they just charged the eBay account. dollars in my bank account this, right now. The guy's account. eBay account was just negative, like eight hundred dollars, because it it took all his eBay money and then deducted another eight hundred he didn't have yet. I'd and be so now he's next phone calls. Boy. That is well, that's what he said. But I'm just saying, like that's insane. That's insane. Mm-hmm. Although Kevin, it'd make a great video for you. A little clickbait mm-hmm. action. Fourteen hundred dollars. He would have no video. He'd have the he'd have the stankiest, meanest looking emoji on his. Uh, <laughs> so what is the <laughs> like the second cease and desist you got, Kevin? Yeah, you it got was a second from one. Flor- was that a- it was from Florida State, Florida State on Bonanza, and they took down a, a one Florida State item, and I've got like t- I've got tons. What of What was them the item? Yeah. It was a chalk line Florida State um, shirt. Chalk where? Oh, chalk chalk line. line. I don't yeah, know that's that vintage is. 90s. You don't know chalk line? Oh, you don't know chalk line? Oh, I'm not this a clothes was bro. Yeah. I'll look it and up. they took chalk it down and shirt. same, same you thing. Get, you, we should like, take away your know. picker card, dude. That's 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 pretty bad. <laughs> Listen, I'm learning. I'm growing. <laughs> Seriously, but hey. That's like your third guys. month of reselling, Dave. Got all those chalk Harley line. shirts. That's good stuff. Third month you learn buy chalk line and any precious moment you can find at any price. Take it out. I got a precious moment jack in the box. I got a precious moment jack in the box this weekend. Sells for like 40 bucks. Wow. Well, there you yeah, go. You heard it here first. There you go. It There's looks like somebody Mrs. did a drug Mrs. deal and sold that, and you're going to have yours forever. <laughs> hey, did she change her name? Julie Mrs. Frugal Trash to Cash. Wasn't that her name? Wasn't it? It's Mrs. now Cash to it. Trash. It's now Cash now, to Trash. Oh, oh yeah. Very good. Trash to Cash. Cash so to now trash. How would you turn your that? cash that into trash? Sense. What does that even mean? <laughs> that's kind of more She's, realistic. That's, that's honestly name. what we're doing most of the time. <laughs> yeah. She said, if you could only eat one dessert for the rest of your life, what would it be? I feel like Dave will say cheesecake, even though he's lactose intolerant. No, hey, I would not say cheesecake. Y- you also never shouted out all the people you're supposed to shout out on this Oh, episode. thank you. My yeah, I'll do that. that. I'll do mm-hmm. that. A minute So what's your, what's your dessert? What's your dessert, bro? Ooh, dessert. You know, I love some key lime pie, but my mom makes these Butterfinger bars that are amazing that my grandma used uh, to make. They're really good. You've never sent me any, know, so uh, like, it doesn't count. Brian Big and Fun used to send cookies when he liked us. That was fun. Those were delicious. Yeah, he still comments on my. He told he accused me of stealing stuff, stealing something about petting petting dogs. I stole that from Troy. I'm like, dude, I was petting dogs when he was in diapers. You were petting dogs. Is while that like a euphemism? What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, so Carrie, what's your dessert? Kevin's is Gosh. his mom's butter cookies. Is that what you said? Uh, Butterfinger bars. Yeah, but uh, I'll tell you, key lime pie is pretty good. I got to tell you. Right. That's t- I'm not a huge sweet peanut guy, butter honestly. cake. I like I like frosties. Cream. I like vanilla frosties. Is that weird? Oh, I love yeah, me a vanilla dessert. frosty. Yeah. Yeah. Love vanilla, like vanilla frosty. I can You're talking about like Wendy's? Yeah, from Wendy's orange, specifically. Well, specifically the Wendy's. The creamsicle ones are good. Yeah, they're all good. I found I mean, this new place near me called Jeremiah's. Do you, I think it's a chain. Do you guys have Jeremiah's Italian I've heard Ice? Of it. I think I it's think like not really Italian ice. Yeah, it's not really Italian ice. It's like it is Italian ice, but it tastes somehow like ice cream, and they put some soft serve in with it. Sounds like something. Speaking I of Brian, big and what's fun. What's cool that was about it is Philly it doesn't really hurt my stomach. It doesn't really hurt my stomach very bad. So that's kind of cool. But that's not my dessert. My dessert is the Dave S'more. The Dave S'more. Ooh. It's like 
I, it's stupid, but it's like my favorite thing. And I, I've done, I've gone months where I've eaten it every night. And You've it, done a it video never gets of old. it? No, it's, I can tell you, it's very easy. I, I learned it in seventh grade from my home ec teacher. Mm. And for some reason, I've loved it ever since. Although she used graham crackers. Is that the one you had this special relationship with you were telling me about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I upgraded. That's a weird joke from Yeah, Kevin, go Uh, a little (laughs) bit odd on that one, especially having been a teacher, but all right. I've uh, I've upgraded it a little bit, but but this is what you do if you want to make it at home, guys. You take a Ritz cracker. You slather it in creamy peanut butter. Then you cover that up with dark chocolate chips or semi-sweet chocolate chips. The peanut butter will hold the chocolate chips in place. Then you put a marshmallow. You nuke it for 30 seconds, maybe 25. And then you put another Ritz cracker on top. Then you throw it in the freezer. Not for too long because then it'll get super hard. But until like the outside starts to get hard, but the inside's still warm. And it's like a, a weird s'more uh, that's like peanut buttery and salty and also sweet. And it's it's heaven. All right, you you get the names of these people. Got a shout out. I got to tell you one story you reminded me of. So I'm out of baseball. Who ate my chips? What? (laughs) Buffing the stuff. Uh Craig McLaughlin. Craig. Bigs Collectibles. Alexandria Picker. You owe them all so many thank yous. (laughs) Carrie. Jake Ryder. CJ Benz Finds. The Flipper Skipper. Lady Arbitrage. No Nose Pickers. Brian Sampor Beal. Harry Tornado. Superhero Headquarters. Vintage Sports Slips. PaulMerch.com. As my dad would call it. ABC Matt. Race Hector Resell. Paul Merch. (laughs) <laughs> and Ray Zachary Sound, Logan Murky, and Brian Big and Fun. Now, here's the thing, Carrie. Um, because you're so late, you kind of owe them two these two. motivational things. I have J rides. And done. you have an excuse. You were dealing with some some hospital stuff. Yeah. So obviously you couldn't really do it. So guys, please forgive Carrie. He had some uh family emergencies last week. If you want to learn more about that, go pay for the Patreon. <laughs> how many it. members? I want to know how many We're members. putting that we're putting that issue behind the paywall, guys. Oh, really? <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm enjoying. I'm waiting for these to come out now. Any guests coming up? I think we should have you guys should uh, have a guest. I want to have on I want to so have some guests, some but I don't really Yeah, we want to get Kevin on one because oh. that would actually get us some subscribers. Uh but yeah, so Carrie has a very good excuse in our podcast where I'm puking um the secret episode. So you can go check that out. But but he will give you two. I will have... And you're not going to have time this week because I have to edit this like right yeah, after we shoot it or early tomorrow morning cuz it's Do you want me to send the J-Rider or just hold on to the one I have already? Just hold on to it. Let's do double up next week. This I'll is your two, one two job. In a row. This week. Be, that's you what the one yeah. job, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the one job you have. Th- thank you guys for being subscribers at that level on our Patreon. We appreciate it. Yes, um, thank you guys. I owe you. I apologize. Let me just make sure we didn't miss any Patreon questions. Kevin, was there any more comments you wanted to cover? No, I just wanted to say I was at a baseball tournament this weekend, and I was watching this kid pitch, and, and I saw this guy stand over there. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I coached against that dude's dad, and he was playing with Turner. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I am getting old. Yeah. He coached against his dad when he was playing. I was a center. coach, and this kid was playing again on the other team that I was coaching against, and now, and now he's, he's old enough coach. to have a kid and be coaching his kid again with Mike. It's like I'm, I was old when I had Turner. Just FYI, don't make any is jokes. This, is this baseball section or something? Mm, no. Kevin, best glove to buy. Go. Be- best glove to buy. Yeah, Bolo glove. Best glove. Uh, Nakoma. The- the power player Nicoma, one. Are we talking as about long Carrie? as it works. Carrie? The Nintendo one. Best best underwear. <laughs> the Nintendo one. Hey, I best like underwear that. to buy? Yeah. Does it look like I wear underwear, my friend? <laughs> no, you're free balling <laughs> every day. Free-